right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, my friends, oh my goodness, welcome, 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 I hope you're all having a lovely time in chat, um, also, just before we start, thank you very much to all the lovely people who silly, well, I don't even know why, but people donated before the stream even went live, don't even know why you're allowed to do that, but hey, thanks, YouTube, um, welcome to Total War Warhammer 3, uh, this is a brand new entry into the Warhammer series, well, the Total War Warhammer, Warhammer series released by Creative Assembly yesterday and this is an incredible game um it's very much you know it's the exact cup of tea that if you enjoy Total War Warhammer games it's Total War Warhammer with new units new spells new experiences new campaign mechanics it's just like a gigantic great big expansion to the previous game and given the fact that you know they like to attach all of the campaign maps together eventually those previous games will become DLC for this game effectively as we get to like some kind of giant glorious campaign map which encompasses the entire known universe and will set 2080 TIs on fire presumably that's um at least my hope but hey I hope you're having a wonderful time chat um we have a bit of an interesting stream today because I'm actually being paid money. Um, that's right. The developers of the game are giving me money to play this game, uh, which is fun because I was probably going to do it anyway. So I'm happy. In fact, there's even a video coming out literally tomorrow where we're going to be showing off even more exploits. I'm going to be showing off, of course, a bunch of exploits today, but... Um, not all of them, because there's literally bajillions of them. So yes, thanks to uh, thanks for money. I love money. It's great. Um, we're going to be kind of showing off a few creative mechanics, but most importantly today, we're showing off the feature that I actually like the most, okay? Because, you know, there's a new campaign, there's a whole bunch of factions, people love chaos, good for you, that's great. Chaos is okay. It's not, you know, it's not going to change my life whether I have access to sexy seducers or not. I do quite like bears, okay? I love ice bears on chariots. That's amazing. But for me, for me, what I like, it's the multiplayer campaign. Now, this thing is insane because I, I play a lot of Civ 6 multiplayer, okay? I like strategy multiplayer games. I've always wanted to do Total War multiplayer. You, except you couldn't on the previous versions because it was all turn-based and you'd effectively need to schedule about half a millennia to play an actual campaign out of. But no, now you can play with eight players and um, you can you can just literally play simultaneous turns so it doesn't even take a bajillion years. And you can even do mini campaigns which are super quick. This can literally be done in one evening. This one like another... well this one probably... I don't know, an evening, two evenings. It's one probably about eight hours, I'd say. I've enjoyed them. I think they're great. Um, but for me, of course, you need friends for that. And amazingly, I do actually have friends to play video games with. I know it's crazy. Um, I'm going to be enjoying friendship today. Uh, and I'm going to be playing with a friend. It's going to be lovely. But of course, before I play with a friend, just going to quickly show off... Um, pretty much the factions of the game because it's very important to actually mention some of the crazy features this game has okay now this is a new release to the game and if you're thinking about a new release to a game you're probably thinking about what the most optimal build for an army currently is in the multiplayer meta uh, this is it here uh, in fact actually we can get rid of this guy and instead replace him with um Oh my goodness, this guy, there we go. Uh, this is the most optimal fighting army in the entire game. Uh, you may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Uh, these units, similar to the chariots in the um, Brass Bull update for Warhammer 2, uh, they do not function. Um, they are pretty much immortal. These units do not die. Every single unit that um, literally you are going up against cannot be killed uh well cannot kill this thing you need a whole bunch of single damage to actually murder one of these squads which makes them perfectly balanced of course next up in terms of dubious game balance design we have slanesh um i've got an entire video about these guys coming out tomorrow they are ridiculous uh this unit is insane uh you don't know what enthralling attacks are you punch an enemy the enemy then likes being punched. It's very dominatrix inspired, 
and it's very, very fun. Um, <laughs> basically, this entire faction is very, very powerful, uh, especially because you can just get this Shadow Wizard here, um, whack them into a roster, make sure they have access to the uh, Pendulum here, and just watch them one-hit an entire army. They're very fun, very balanced, very enjoyable. Next up, of course, we have other balanced factions. Uh, we have... Ooh, who, who goes next? I mean, Sinch is okay. Like, the magic barrier stuff is kind of crazy because, you see, the issue with regenerating shields in this game, uh, that they're kind of broken. Um, and there's a reason why the game introduced a cap on health regeneration, because otherwise you could just dump your legendary lord straight into the middle of a battlefield and they would outheal the damage they're taking. They, of course, realize that infinite regeneration isn't balanced, and so there's a cap on how much you can regenerate. There is not a cap on how many times your barrier can fully regenerate. It is hilarious how unique this feature is, because it's pretty much unstoppable. Um, it's great. Also, the barrier scales based on your health, so this unit here has 7,800 health, right? So it has a barrier of 800. This unit here has marginally more health of 8,000, but its barrier is 1,200. This barrier is insane. It's fantastic, and it will continuously regenerate. You do not need, okay? You do not need any Kairos Fate Weaver. You just need a whole bunch of whole bunch of these boys, a whole bunch of Kairos Fate Weavers, and you can take on anyone. It's great. It's fun. It's balanced, like all things should be. Next up, of course, uh, we have... I mean, Nurgle's okay. He's fun. He's got access to some magic as well. Ah, it's... It's... Yeah, okay, it's fine. Uh, Nurgle's okay. I think he's fun. But he's not as fun as Slanesh, because Slanesh is basically running around with glass cannons that refuse to wear clothing. And they're really fun, because they're people running around with giant spears attached to their body. You're effectively playing with the Necromorphs from uh, Dead Space. <laughs> Stupid, sexy Necromorphs, okay? Um, <laughs> oh, God. Also, social system. Nice to see you in chat, my friend. I'll be having a lovely time. So, what are we doing in today's stream? Well... I'm here to play a multiplayer campaign, which, as you can imagine, is going to be uniquely balanced. Um, yes, <laughs> because multiplayer diplomacy usually breaks video games, okay? When two players can work together, they can destroy everything. Uh, it's fantastic. You could theoretically harvest infinite money off of an impossible difficulty AI. Uh, the reasoning you do this is you could just have one friend... Um, one friend raid your land indefinitely whilst you're at war with a faction that has a lot of money and whilst that happens they will be gaining relations to that faction and that faction will probably start giving them money just for raiding you which is great it's perfectly balanced it's infinite gold uh, more importantly certain factions in this game uh, can break the ai slanesh of course uh, when the immortal empires gets added in and this map connects to the rest of the warhammer world Slanesh is going to be able to forcefully vassalize the entire world, okay? You have no idea how insane that is. They will be able to vassalize pretty much every single faction in that game. And they will make so much money from it. It is great. You can, fa you can vassalize pretty much everyone. I vassalized the entirety of the Empire. Um, I think it's great fun. I love it. <laughs> Oh god. But yeah, today we're going to be playing a multiplayer battle with my lovely friend uh, Kiwo. Um, now Kiwo is a live streamer on Twitch. Um, Kiwo did not know that I was live streaming on YouTube. Uh, she sent me a message saying um, I'm all prepped. I've even sent an invite for a squad stream. And then I had to tell her that um, no, I, um, uh, I, I stream on YouTube. It's superior. Okay. Uh, why would you want to vassalize the entire empire? You can vassalize the entire empire because they give you money for being your little, your little, um, I was going to say, uh, slave. Well, 
unpaid interns, paying interns. Yes, they actually pay you to be interns. And the reason why you want to have vassals in the game is because they overhaul diplomacy to make allies and vassals useful because you can hijack their armies, okay? Instead of your vassals being just mindless melons that run around and basically throw their armies into the enemy with zero impact whatsoever, you can hijack their armies and just move them around. You take control of them. It makes having allies actually fun rather than you just pull your hair out, okay? You can direct them, you can move them, you can borrow them. It's very nice. It's very, very enjoyable um, because you actually get helped by your AIs and vassals now. Very nice. Um, and of course, if you're playing Slanesh, they all pay you a lot of money. Just like how Creative Assembly is paying me today because I seduce them with my uh, offers of tea and... It worked, okay? It worked. Um, do vassals still suddenly decide to break free? No. If you have uh, basically enslaved a vassal using Slanesh, they will not break free, even if they hate you, okay? You have corrupted them so much they will be part of you. Um, the only reason a vassal would break free is if basically they lose their lands but they still have some kind of like presence elsewhere on the map uh then they can sometimes break free and that's literally it which is great also thank you very much for the two donations uh you're playing this with your bud yesterday it was laggy oh don't worry i am running a it on a very insane pc uh yep it's a new release you know what a brand new warhammer release means it means there's going to be some jitters there needs to be performance patches and if you want to see how this game runs without buying the entire thing uh, on its current patch, you can get it on Game Pass. That's usually my advice. Um, Game Pass is wonderful. I love it. I think it's great. Sin, thank you very much. You're drinking coffee and tea whilst watching this. I don't know how that's possible. The two should explode when they come into contact with each other. And Marcus Person, thank you very much for the donation. Right, I shall give uh, Kiwo a call and let us let us um, organize this game. Kiwo has not played a Total War game before. Hello, Kiwo. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm nervous. Did you lose any bins today? Um, which is a serious question for us, seeing as we live in the UK. Um, no, no. Luckily, didn't lose any bins, but the the grass in my mum's garden has been completely what? torn off. <laughs> the grass? What? How? <laughs> well, it's, no, no. It's like she's got like astroturf in the back, so okay. it's. <laughs> Right. I had to go outside and push the bench up against the back fence to try and reinforce it a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> I've only had one casualty. Um, we have like oh. two gates into our garden, like a fun airlock system, and the weaker gate has been broken off of its hinges. <laughs> oh, no. um, it's devastating. Because <laughs> my, pa my power went out for quite a while. I only got yeah, it Yeah, that made hours. organizing this stream very interesting. <laughs> um, because in case you didn't know, this stream has been in the works for about two weeks now and has gone through many different iterations with a whole different cast of lineup. Myself and Kiwo survived the cutting um, of the cast members. Um, and then you almost got murdered by the storm today. So mm. it's impressive we actually managed to uh, survive. Yep. Um, oh god many people in my chat are absolutely wild because they're recognizing your voice from oh bless them probably any assortment of terrifying rp videos on the internet um, i'm i've stumbled i'm somehow in like every corner of the internet just through you mutual are. friends it's really weird oh god it's actually <laughs> insane like the every time i like follow someone on twitter it's like oh kiwo's following them Oh god, Kiwo like actively engages with this person like I've been watching them for seven years and then I go back and I watch a video and it's like oh my god is that Kiwo in like a Daisy video from 2013? Like what the hell? Oh yeah. god. Um, oh, oh I, I was going to tell my chat a little story about okay. my only Warhammer experience. Give it to me. Which is, so as I was, when I was growing up in like the early 2000s war, there was a big like resurgence in Warhammer. And all the kids in my school were playing it. Like, mm -hmm. the, not obviously not the computer game, but the tabletop game. Yep. Well, and... there wasn't really many Warhammer, like, computer games in the early 2000s. Mm. But it was... <laughs> it was sad because, you know, the, you had your kids with the crazy bones, the kids with the Warhammer, 
and then you had me and my friends and we couldn't afford the crazy bones we couldn't afford <laughs> warhammer no so we made our alternative our own alternative version of warhammer oh my which god we called boochies and <laughs> it was we'd we'd get blue tack and roll them up into like sausage like shapes oh my god and we put some tacks in for eyes. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I'm afraid you own about 40,000 worth of royalties to Games Workshop, however, and they will be sending an enforcement agent round because that is um, unfair copyright of their intellectual property. Well, we didn't, we didn't, no one knew how to play it. Their parents were just buying them the figures. Well, most people playing do Warhammer them. don't know how to play Warhammer. It's okay. Um, <laughs> It's so sad. <laughs> oh god. Right. Now you haven't played a total war game ever, which absolutely blew my mind. Um I don't know I how I played you... Vermintide. Vermintide is not a total war game. Uh <laughs> it is it is Escaven Left for Dead, which is it's really fun, but it's not a it's a, it is a Warhammer game, but it's not total war. So my thinking was we should do a uh, a fight against the AI, okay? Mm. Because you've done a little bit of the prologue, and that's about it. In comparison, I think I probably have about 2,000 hours combined, maybe 3,000 in all Total War games that I've played, and probably about 800 of those are in the various Warhammer games. Oh. Um, so I have a bit of experience. I have also been bit. playing this game for about four weeks because I got access to it like back in January and I pretty much know all of the very broken features of which there are many um, so I will do my best to go nicely okay okay that's fine so I, I can't help but feel my my first time properly playing is going to be a little bit busted yeah. yeah yeah i have also noticed that thanks to really creative game design okay kiwo when mm. i host a multiplayer lobby the password is visible to everyone uh, oh. which means i'm gonna have to just literally turn my screen off um <laughs> in order to make the lobby right i shall create a lobby called um kiwo there we go and the password I will hide this screen temporarily. Um, the password is going to be um, that. Okay, you get that message? Um, yes, the I've person, turned up my screen. The person <laughs> who couldn't be here today. Um, <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, password is entered. We are in, in the game. Game, please come back. There we go, game has come back. Lovely. Right, um, I'm going to add a player slot and an AI player do, 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 do. fantastic right um, you should be able to join the game whenever I am trying to join off you on Steam uh, you could go into just multiplayer battles and I think it should be um, under the name Kiwo but alternatively I can Ooh. okay there's also an invite code button that just showed a code to my stream so <laughs> you need to speed this up very quickly uh, because someone can just scroll back and try and get that code um, I, I don't have the code unless it's <laughs> it's okay just try try and join fast okay from the multiplayer screen menu you've got this okay it, oh, it doesn't dear. have your game there it does. It does. It's under the name Kiwo. It's under oh, the name search. Kiwo. I have to search. I have to search it. Search it. Oh god. It's not. <laughs> Come on. You can do this. Fine. It's I'll give. Not... I'll give you the code. I'll give you the code. Okay. <laughs> Let me give you the entire code. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh god. I love this game. I really do. It's oh very no, fun. I can't copy it from Discord because it's got you can't. Me it just says message Stephen. You've got to type out the entire seventy string characters. That's perfect. If you need a copy of it, my uh, my live stream chat are just spamming a copy of it. Um, if you want to have access to it. <laughs> Invalid game uh, code, are you kidding me? Invalid, you've got it wrong, okay? Get your eyes tested. Go back and look through each and every I... one of those up and down lowercase characters. <laughs> yeah. 
three, two, five. <laughs> yes, the uh, magic code we're looking for is three, two, five, eight. F um, actually, wait, I could just. That's read lowercase. It. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Oh, I love this game. <gasps> oh. Are you in? I think it's. I think it's actually loading. <gasps> this is when I discover there's like a shift tab invite to game on Steam. No, there's not. Okay, no, failed to God. join game. Failed to join. What? Okay. Did, did okay. you put the password in? No, it didn't even give me the option. <laughs> it's not given me the option to put the password in. I've searched okay. for. I've searched for Kiwo. Mm -hmm. The screen is empty. The lobby is completely empty. Right. <laughs> um. I'll give it another go. Okay. Um, can you set it to friends only? I probably can. Yeah. Let me let me try that. Um, I'm gonna host a battle. Um, it's literally shown the password because <laughs> I opened. <laughs> Okay, so if you didn't know, Artie Game was meant to be here. Sorry, that's why the password was RT. RT couldn't make it. Um, bless him. Uh, he is recovering from COVID. Uh, right. Lobby name is instead going to be Spiff, all lowercase, okay? Mm -hmm. It's Spiff, right? I've created it. Realized I didn't put a password on the lobby there, so you've got to just look really quickly. Um, I'm... I'm when I go to search, it, it doesn't, it nothing doesn't. comes up. Absolutely and no. all the online games, they show up for a second. And then they go away? Yes. Yeah, yeah, they do, don't they? Should, should I host? Maybe I yeah, can Yeah, you give it a host. You give it a host. Let's see that. Um, I'm going to untick non-friend games so that way they don't turn up. Um, OK. And potentially you can give me the code and it should be fine. Um. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, let me get this code. Okay, right. Lo oh, I don't know where I find them. Where the bloody hell is the code? <laughs> it should be in the bottom left. Oh, here's a unique feature. When I untick non-friend games, uh, because there are no servers, when I refresh the list, it reticks non-friend games. Oh. Um, <laughs> so Okay, right, that's the code. Copy. Please say I can paste it in. Yes, paste. Go. Joining game. Password. Was the password the same, right? Mm hmm Okay. Enter password, joining game. Jo flawless. Absolutely flawless. Why did that work for you? It works I... easy peasy every time. Okay, now what you're going to want to do, now I know you're a veteran of Total War games, so you understand how yes. this lobby works. Um, yes. You should have the ability to add a player underneath your team in Team 1, and then what I'll do is I'll join that player slot, okay? Oh. Um, and then you want to add a computer to Team 2, and then add another computer and delete the first slot. Perfect. Right. Now, we're going to do this together, and we're going to have our first battle, okay? Okay. So, firstly, you should probably have an entirely auto-generated army in front of you, I imagine, mm -hmm. as Kislev. You can use that, or you can get a little bit crazy and go for something a little bit different, if you like. Um, I'm going to go for something a little bit silly um, and curveball-y. Uh, do, do, do. <gasps> Right. Oh, oh! Right, should we make them? Should we make the AI human? Uh, no, no. The AI. We want the AI to stay AI. Um, because we don't. Oh, as in um, their races. Yes. Oh, their it's... races. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah. I mean, we could play evil corrupty demons against them if you like. Yes. Okay. Right. Sure. Set their races to um, uh, probably, uh, Grand Cafe if you want to beat up on some peasants. Oh, um, yes. They're really fun. They have a whole bunch of peasant spearmen. Uh, they do have access to one unit really early in the game, um, which I think is the Jade Warriors, which are stupidly cheap, and they're a tier one unit, and yet for some reason they can pretty much massacre everything in the game. But oh. luckily, because this, is a, um, this isn't the campaign, and they're not being led by a player, they won't be picking them, so we should be fine. Um, do 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 Right. Okay. 
Um, so Ooh. you're going to probably want to pick your own race now. What do you like the look of out of... Nurgle. You like the look of Nurgle. The big, fat, nightmarish plague monster. Um, yes. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> Why not? It's great. Um, I'll probably go for... Actually, don't go for Nurgle, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, hit select race and go for Demons of Chaos because oh, Demons okay. of Chaos have access to all of the Chaos rosters, which means they are objectively better in every single regard um, as they have access to them all. Okay? So play with Perfect. that. Lovely, 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 lovely. Um, right, what should I go for for an army? Um... I think I might just auto generate one. Go for something a bit silly. Oh wow, this is really silly. Yep. Yeah, this looks like dumb, stupid stuff to me. Brilliant. Oh wow, yep, this is straight up hot garbage. I love it. This is great. I'm gonna go for this. Um Oh am I oh I'm I was changing the you know what, I don't wanna I was changing the wrong race. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no Tash, it's okay it's okay it's just gonna be one of those days it's one of those days um oh no all right what i'm gonna do is um something very stupid <laughs> oh this is very stupid um does it mean we're gonna win uh Yes, yes. I'm bringing a spellcaster who has access to the most overpowered spell in the game. Um, and that is the only spell they're going to be bringing with them. Uh, it is a spell that will quite simply one-hit pretty much every unit in this game uh, very handily. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Then I'll get rid of that spell because it doesn't actually work. It's not implemented in the game. And that spell is... Uh, that one is useful. Cool. Right, I've got 1,800 points left, so I'm going to whack in a... Hmm, just a bit of infantry, I think. Lovely. Right, I am surprisingly actually ready. Kind of. I think I, I'm... Just auto generate. I'm ready. It's fine. Perfect. It's okay. Don't worry. Right. Next up, we can do map setup. Okay. Um. Now, whatever you do, don't change from land battle to any of the other battles because they're probably going to regen our armies, I imagine. Mm. Um, but you've got this huge list of maps on the left. The maps are insane. Uh, they are actually really damn sexy. Um, speaking of which, if you want to see a super sexy map, go right down to the bottom and you've got Wastes of Slanesh. Pretty much anything... Oh wait, no, go right down to the bottom. Couple up the Tickling Tundra, Realm of Slanesh. Um, this is the sexy faction, okay? Okay. This is the Tundra where the unconsensual tickling occurs. Um, and it should be good, right. Um, I'm going to ready up. You can ready up as well. Let's go tickle some people. Are we t are we doing the tickling? We are the ticklers. Yeah, we're the chaos people. You know, we've got some humans in front of us that don't want to be tickled, or yet they don't know they want to be tickled. Okay, um, they're gonna like it. This is so cursed. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Don't worry. Don't just enjoy the tickling. It's fine. Um, oh god! Right, I'm interested to see what your your army lineup is. Sorry, I think your name is censored. My name is censored. Yeah, apparently, um, apparently. Effing. Oh, it's the effing. Yeah, it's because it's spiff and then it's effing. So it's S P I F F I N G. Oh my god! Mm, oh, so I that happens that. to me. In, I think in Dark Souls they had a character who looked like a turtle called Shelly Gums. Yeah, but. They uh, censored out hell in her name, so everyone just called her Shitty Gums instead. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm also noticing that my game is, because of the shadows, it's getting about zero FPS. So I'm actually, we're going to have to go back to the main menu. Okay. <laughs> so I need to turn down all of the graphic settings because I can't stream and uh, do this at the same time. 
So I'll have to, we'll have to press escape and concede defeat. Um, there we go. That was a close <laughs> defeat. Very close defeat. I know, it's okay. We just have to do all of that again. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. oh, God. Right, back I go, back I go. Uh, options, graphics. I really shouldn't be playing at crazy high graphics, so I'm going to go down to a nice casual medium. There we go. But actually, yeah, medium should be fine. The biggest thing that impacts graphics, of course, in every single video game is the bloody shadows. Mm. So I'm just going to turn the shadows off and that should shave it, save everyone. There we go. Everyone's happy. I think right. you, sh you should be able to just join again. I should be able to. Is it literally the same password and stuff? Yes. Oh my god, great. Right, join the code. Join a game. Oh, it's as easy as that. Easy as that. It's amazing that no one else is joining the game, uh, and it's just <laughs> us. Uh, it has given me an entirely auto-generated army, so I'll quickly switch, and I'll go for a Zinch army. Um, oh, I could just go for a literally just flamethrowers. Oh, you know what? I've got a fun idea. Okay, uh, you best have a lot of melee boys, okay? I assume I do. Okay, perfect. I'm bringing flamethrowers. Perfect. Don't ask how certain factions have access to flamethrowers. It's unnecessary. Um, they're just perfect. Do, 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 do. I'm right. sure it makes sense in the lore. It makes sense to someone's headcanon lore, I'm sure. Um, they're having a grand old time. Do, 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 do. Right. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, all right, I'm ready to go. Okay. Awesome. Away we go. Will there be exploits? Of course. We've literally gone through like 700 exploits right at the intro of this stream, okay? Um, and then I called Kiwo because I didn't want to overwhelm her with the sounds of the exploits. Um, oh, no. There's a lot of like units in this game, okay, Kiwo, that don't mm. die when they should die. Um, there's also a very entertaining thing whereby normally if you charge something with a horse, you would like, let's say you charge a spear with a horse, you would expect that the spear will, you know, kind of counter charge that horse a bit. It won't be able just to barrel straight through. Uh, the issue is if the spear is even pointing in the opposite direction, that horse is going to be murdered as if it did just charge straight first into a spear. Um, that's fine. That's just an early, early feature um, that will be changed, I'm sure. Um, right, my entire army is comprised of uh, ranged units. Um, I didn't bring anything else. Um, but they're good ranged units, okay? Okay. Excluding the little blue horrors, which are just like little goblins. Um, right, okay. I'm going to ready up. I'm going to okay. take a look at actually your dude first. You went for the correct um, hero to bring in because uh, you went for a hero with siege powers, which means they have a magic shield, uh, which makes them pretty much impossible to kill. So let's go. I I definitely meant to do that. I'm sure you did. Okay, now they have a huge army comprising mostly of peasants and ranged peasants, okay? Mm -hmm. um, now, how do you feel about peasants? Um... um... I mean, I, I feel know, like I can't answer that. I mean, I know you're from Brighton, so you have quite progressive views about peasants. Um, <laughs> oh God. Right, let's just barrel straight through into their center line, okay? As oh, I'm okay. literally an army of just ranged units, I'm literally just going to wait for you to run in there, blob up their stuff, and then I'm going to murder it, okay? Okay, right. I'm Although, head around the controls. I've realized I have the pendulum under my control so I'm just going to quickly beeline straight towards the enemy and murder like two whole units so quickly before you uh, go into right. combat okay right take a look at their entire front row it's got these really exciting uh, like cannon units um, mm. and then behind them it's got some like really fun crossbowmen now what we're going to do is we're going to use a spell that shouldn't be added in the game uh, to just murder this entire oh wait that's facing the wrong way oh Oh, I'm such I... an idiot. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a melon. <laughs> well, I'm oh sending everything god. in. 
I think. That's fine. You send everything in. Don't worry. I missed my spell because I'm an absolute idiot. <laughs> I suppose oh you should probably go God. and help out too. Yeah, you go there. Um. All right. Oh. Oh no. Right, I'm just gonna bring my army up with its range units. Don't worry. All right, you come over here. Damage resistance. Um. Hit you with stuff like that, and don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna cast a nice spell on the enemy, they're gonna love it, it's gonna make them happy. I think oh. your hero probably has some spells as well that will do some fun stuff. Um, oh, I haven't, I've never got to that part of the. Don't worry, you will do. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quite simply set fire to the enemy commander. Um, as that is more viable than actually fighting them, okay? Um, oh my goodness. This is <laughs> chaos. This is yeah, chaos well, we are playing a chaos... <laughs> we're playing a chaos faction, okay? Mm. Literally, our entire army roster is just a nightmare amalgamation of men. Um, all right, now I have the pendulum. Lovely. Okay. All right. Um kind of need to see a whole bunch of dudes lined up and the entire battle line is a nightmare mess so I don't know how mm. accurate that's going to be but that looks good to me right so yes. this you're doing great don't worry don't worry <laughs> um, you're doing fantastic am I? <laughs> yes 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 oh my god you are yes you have actually <laughs> taken no damage and you have done stuff <laughs> Okay, so be proud of yourself. Be very proud of yourself. Ooh, Bolt of Change, lovely. Let's just do a little bit of that. Right. So my flamethrowers are doing good. Uh, we're going to set fire to some of these horses. Okay, don't worry. Your commander has done great and is pretty much soloing their entire army because for some reason they thought it would be fine to give an impregnable shield to heroes mm. um, in this game. So you're doing great. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Yeah, I'm... I'm, uh, I'm. It's just all happening at once. I'm just clicking there's on just, things and hoping for the best. There's visceral noise occurring, okay? <laughs> Glorious much. visceral noise. Um, right, let me, oh yes, this is a nice spot for this spell, oh yes it is, oh yes, come to, come to daddy, oh wow, hmm, oh, oh yes, oh, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, okay, that's three entire units wiped out with just the, just a little bit of mana, oh boy, oh god. This That's is a massacre. Yeah, um, it's largely due to a whole bunch of unique features whereby we've generally brought chinch units, um, which mm. are kind of like, they're the units of, a, of an army led by some dude that can literally see the future, okay? Mm. And quite simply, they're very special because um, we can basically hack. Uh, our way into this game um, because we know the future already. So all of our units have shields, they're very strong with magic, and we're literally fighting against the equivalent of peasant farmers that have been given a spear and a crossbow and told to go and defend their kingdom from the nightmare monsters. And turns out the nightmare monsters are literal nightmare monsters for a reason, okay? That's why we made the nightmares about them. Um... Like, if there's a 12-foot-tall flying crab monster that can spew fire, uh, mm. except the fire's pink, you know, you're going to start questioning why you even left the farm in the first place. Um, you might want to even go home after a while. Yeah, a lot of them seem to be just retreating. Yeah, it oh. does help that they're peasants, so they don't exactly mm. have the best morale. Um, what you probably want to do with your hero, well, your lord, um, is run them back just a bit into like a safe area so they can regen their shield, and then you just charge them straight back towards the enemy. Oh my god, look at this pile of dudes. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, right, this is such a big dude pile. Oh, wow. I cannot express to you, Tash, okay, the sheer mm -hmm. quantity of dudes that are about to be hit by my anti-dude swinging pendulum weapon. Okay? <laughs> oh, oh no. I've done 43,000 oh. damage. Oh, that, God. That doesn't seem right. No, it's not right. It's not right. Oh. Oh, God. I have more spells? Yeah, you'll, you'll have a bunch of spells. Don't you worry. Um... My flamethrower units have absolutely massacred the enemy, despite the fact that they're ranged spellcasty monsters. And they shouldn't be able to melee fight. But they do. Right. Oh! Oh, I have a lot of spells. Oh my god, you've been casting a few <laughs> spells now. Jeez. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I think I'm gonna kill one of their heroes. You see the dragon blooded lady? Um the like level six lord they have that's, mm -hmm. that's running around. Yeah. Yeah. Um I'm just gonna cast some ICBMs onto her and okay, she's pretty much dead now. And she's gonna run away. Um and then what we're gonna want to do is rush their other hero, which is the other side of the battlefield. Sounds good. Good, 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 good. Right, my shields have regenerated, so... Fantastic. Right, their lord is dead. Oh, I see him. Right, I'm going to retreat some of my units back so they can regen their shield, and then I will go straight into combat with you. Oh, wait, I can drop down a little vortex. Oh, yes. More magic. If you also have some magic to, um, you know, dispense strongly recommend you have a fun time with it um because it's just it's silly the magic in this game is very fun okay it's a good canonical lore area hmm. I'm, I'm just hitting buttons and hoping for the best and it seems to be working oh my goodness i am noticing that literally the uh i, I really need to try and sort out how my stream encoder works because it dies it dies Ooh. when it looks at this, but it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Alright, my hero needs to retreat now. Yeah, their hero is not looking too good, but we don't need to, like, rush them or anything. Um, because their entire army has routed. Excluding oh. their hero, who is unbreakable, I think. Um, so, pretty sure that's total victory. Mm. Um... And I'm noticing you're rushing some slug monsters towards the hero. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it would be appropriate. Oh, it's De Nuvo. Of course it is. Yes. Oh. It's the anti-piracy uh, software. Oh, well. <laughs> We're going to have to auto-resolve every battle in this game. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. Well, we did it, Tash. We won. We did it. We won. Look at that. I... So dumb. What do you mean? I don't know what just happened. How many kills did your like hero get? Two hundred and thirty-three. That's amazing. Um, check out my dude. <laughs> you got five hundred sixty-four kills. Oh my god! How much damage did your hero? Your hero did a thirteen thousand damage, which is amazing. Oh wow. I. I was looking over like some of the peasants as my troops were coming towards them and I just saw that giant shadow blade just sweep across I know, them. it's so stupidly powerful, the pendulum. Like, it's actually insane. Um, oh my goodness. I noticed, okay, you have a unit which is a tiny like little, little like blue goblin. Um, it's like mm. one of the cheapest units in the game. It's called the Blue Horrors of Chinch. Your little dude did almost as much damage as your very expensive Blood Reaper hero. Um, and he's just like a little blue dude with a little spear, okay? He's just happy to be on the battlefield. <laughs> he doesn't care if he kills anything. He's just there for a good time, not a long time. Um, so I need an, an army just full of them. It, it can work, okay? The Blue Horrors of Siege, you know, they're fun. They got flaming attacks. Most units don't like being on fire. Flaming attacks mm. are very powerful. Um... Right, so that was a battle, okay? Now you've got a hang of the battle. Yes. Um, 
because of course you completely ha we're in, you're in full control there um, you're going to have to back on out of battles go to campaign and then click on multiplayer campaign okay uh, okay then you're going to want to hit host campaign oh let me hide my screen don't worry you got this okay we've got a couple of them fantastic um there's free campaigns Roma chaos is the main game uh it's eight player well up to eight players um and it's literally just the main game it's good fun then you've got darkness and disharmony uh this is like a miniaturized turbo version of the game where the aim is to control well you hold settlements and the more settlements ho you hold the more points you get basically and it's like the first two i think 50 points um, and then something rotten in Kislev is like a free player, more like story focused adventure, which takes a bit longer. So we're not going to be able to do that for the, today's stream. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to click on Darkness and Disarmony and okay. host a lobby. Okay, you've got this. The same as the last one. Yep. Don't worry. And here is your code. Oh, that's on the other monitor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. It's okay. There we go. I'll go find that code. Uh, do 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 do. Right. Cool. Copy. Copy that code. Join with code. Paste that. Oh my god. Oh no 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 no. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean about the whole message <laughs> thing. No. Why does it say message at chemo instead? Why? Oh god. I think I know why. Okay. I've got to only copy the text not the message bit there we go let's try now join the code it worked perfectly okay if you have that little space on the end it breaks mm -hmm. the game okay so don't put that in um <laughs> oh this is <laughs> right this is so fast. don't worry it's fine it's fine um what we are going to have to do is we're going to have to set the battle difficulty um I was going to say we'd have to set it to easy because we're going to have to auto resolve this most of the fights or at least I am because the FPS is un unviable. Mm. But that's fine. We don't have to do that now. Um instead it's easy. Uh yeah, probably put the battle to easy but keep campaign on normal. It should be fine. Okay. Um yep. Yeah. Should all be good. We can change the difficulty anyway as the game goes on, which is fine. Ooh. I know. And actually, I wonder if that difficulty only affects your side because I think it does. Why have you moved to Team Four? I oh, don't it's because you changed you changed your um, your faction, which for some mm. reason changes your team. Okay, that's fine. Um, right, who would you like to play? <laughs> um, I kind of want to see what the Nurgle are all about because they've, they've been referred to as the stinky trash boys they are the stinky trash boys yeah they're really fun i'm gonna play as the um hmm. yeah i'm gonna play as zhao ming the iron dragon uh because he has really amazing modifiers uh that imbalance the game uh so i'll play as him um the campaign is very simple control settlements to earn victory points each settlement generates one victory point per turn first to 40 wins and if no one's at 40 victory points somehow by turn 30, they've been playing the game wrong and they should uninstall. Um, I think oh. that's pretty much what the rules are. Um, right. Oh, no. I'm ready oh, to go. No. Oh, actually, wait. Quickly, game settings. Uh, simultaneous turns. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, is that all on? Is everything looking good? Yeah, that, that looks fine to me. Yeah, we should be fine. Um, right. And we're go. now against each other kind of we can work together in this game mode like this game mode has full diplomacy so we can be allied to each other we can be at war with each other there's advantages to being allied with people now because you can build like outposts in each other's cities and that adds to the defensive garrison and it also allows that person to recruit uh, specific units of a different person's faction which is a nice way oh. of getting like a balanced roster okay so Heroes of Might and Magic. Literally Heroes of Might and Magic, <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. I know that one. You know that one. It's fine. I also like the fact that you're playing on easy difficulty, whereas I can play on normal difficulty. 
Like, that's actually amazing that the game lets us do that. Oh, brilliant. That's good. We can play on two different difficulties. Oh, are we ready? We're ready. We're going okay. in. Okay. Okay. Right. Cool. Okay, so the way Nurgle works is you're all about spreading diseases, okay? Um, now, we can't say the big disease that is, of course, happening at the moment. Um, you can on Twitch, mm -hmm. of course, but I can't here on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, now, the way your disease spreading works is you can inflict modifiers onto enemy armies and buff your own armies. And this is um, a really fun little crazy system. Uh, n next up, you can also like cause attrition to people uh, with your diseases. I can literally see you over here. Wow, you look amazing. Thank um, you. Your Kugar Plague Father, and you've set up in the city of Shangwu um, with your giant horrific disease. Now, you can actually, there's an exploit in Nurgle at the moment whereby you can power level all of the diseases by moving units back and forth in an army, which gets new units infected with the plague. Uh, don't ask me how it works. I'm not going to explain because it's very broken. Because um, it pretty much allows you to do something that is intended to happen over 60 turns in the span of one turn. Um, yeah. Uh, it's all going to be fine. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Okay, I want... Ooh. I'm noticing all of the research is turbo speed. It's like turbo speed because we're playing on a... Um, on like a a faster game mode. Oh, this is really cool. Nice. nice I have nice, no nice. idea what... You're doing fine, okay? I am doing, but you yeah. know, it's... You it's have great. your army, okay? You have your army, you can recruit new units to it, and you can move and attack people. So you're going to want to recruit, probably for the first few turns, and then you should also be able to upgrade your existing army a bit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This dude is insane. I haven't played as this faction before, but he actually seems horrifically overpowered. This is cool. Oh, this is very fun. Nice. Right. Um, I'm going to hire some units. Do, 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 do. Oh, my God. We can hire so many units in a single turn. Yes. Oh, this is great. Oh, wow. Okay, I... Don't worry, it's all okay. It's all okay. Does my lord need to be in the city to... No, they can recruit outside of the city in friendly territory, um, which is useful, and I would strongly recommend you do that. Okay. I'm also going to build some... Uh, right. Um, it's okay. I think. Hmm. It's okay. I'm going straight into it. You go, Easy okay. pickings. You're going straight into an attack. Yes. Okay, you're initiating an attack. Um, but please. I can you auto resolve. Ca you can auto resolve. I would recommend you auto resolve. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we're gonna do a battle. And from the looks of it, you absolutely smashed them. Uh, to pieces because I'm noticing a big fat green trek monster um, you might have lost some units in the process okay awesome um, your army has I'm noticing you've picked up a scroll of blast that's pretty cool good job right I'm going to probably point my compass in a direction um Okay. I think. It's okay. You can do great. I have. I'm done. I think I am. Have you built some buildings in your? Oh um, yeah. In your main settlement. Mhm. Mm okay. Cool. I'm gonna get a balloon building going. Um, because I think they're great fun. Actually, wait. This is useful. And this is useful. Cool. Right. Okay. Um, oh, I can dispatch a caravan. Why am I dispatching a caravan in a game mode that doesn't have caravan mechanics? Oh wait, it does! <gasps> cool! Oh wow, right, okay. 
Okay, I'm going to end my turn as well. Um, so when you're done, you can press end turn in the bottom right, and that's generally what you want to do when you finish your turn. Okay. 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 And are we good? Are we done? We good? Okay. Oh. Oh my God, the FPS is still also bad in this me version. Maybe I just need to lower my resolution down. Maybe I shouldn't be playing in 4K. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no. I'm gonna probably have to do that. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Tash, you okay backing out to the main menu? Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, up to main menu. Back to the, yeah, exit to main yep. menu. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You can probably actually load that campaign back as well, so we probably won't even lose any progress. Uh, let's try 1920 by 1080. This is going to make the stream look a bit different. Don't worry, oh, no. chat. It's okay. We'll have to start again. Are we? Did, are <laughs> yep. we going to? Yep, okay, that's fine. Right. Okay, that's fine. Get the lobby back up. Get that lobby back. All right, hide my screen. Host. Exactly the same. Wait, oh no, it's not. Because I need to send you code. Send me that code. Done. Now the game is going to get very angry every time I tab out of the game because I'm running it at a different resolution to my desktop. I'm sorry, game. I'm sorry. Um, look, chat, you're complaining that 4K is the reason why, okay? Literally, it's not. I played this game in 4K Ultra Graphics. It's just my recording software with Streamlabs is having a fit. Okay, it's not my fault. I can't even remember how I set up mine. <laughs> I don't know what resolution I stream at. <laughs> you don't even know what resolution you stream at? How? I, I I can't remember. Okay. Just remember out there currently, someone is paying for this to happen. <laughs> someone had to write this off in a marketing budget somewhere. Yes, <laughs> we spent the first 30 minutes trying to get more <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. This it, they paid for the tutorial. We were showing people how to get it set up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tutorial. It's all Definitely. fine. Definitely. It's all fine. Let me just check that I haven't received any angry text messages. Um, Does Fifth know about the Corn Infinite movement exploit? I do. Yes. You have to basically micromanage a unit up and down between twenty percent movement speed over and over again. And it allows you to not run out of movement speed. It's kind of like if Heroes and by Magic, if you moved almost all of your um, like movement points, and then you like refilled a little bit. And so it will literally take you hours to use the exploit, but it does work. It's just not very fun. Okay. And I'm sure that meant so much to you. Yep. Um, definitely. Yep. Good. <laughs> I'm going to get some bloody flying balloons going. Um, right. Buff up my dude. Now, may maybe I'm not going to go straight into attacking. You sure? No. There we go. That's more like it. Right, bam. They have the honor of serving willing participants. Oh, you are literally you're going straight into battle. Okay, you're just gonna murder them again. That's fine. Yes. Standard opening move expected. Oh, oh wow, the FPS is working so much greater now. Oh yeah, look at that smooth oh, can, buttery you FPS. You can see now? I can yeah, well, I could always see. It was just the poor little recording could not see. <laughs> they were getting like a smooth two FPS. By the way, whilst I was recording that, like my perspective chat, completely fine. I would like to point out, um, it's entirely the recording software, sadly. Right. Okay, I am uh, also pretty sure I am. I've actually. Do. 
and I'm going to be able to end my turn as well. I'm not doing any combat though first turn, unlike you, because I'm not a warmonger. Okay. I'm I nice. have <laughs> no comment. You have no comment. I yeah. have no comment on my my play style because I I really don't know what I'm doing. But you're doing fine. Okay, you just move, <laughs> you conquer cities, and you hit them in the face. Okay, you just chomp the cities. Um, I've apparently researched hardened bamboo, and that's improved the armor of my units. I don't know where they're strapping the bamboo to themselves to make them better, but they're doing it. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Okay, you've already murdered your first faction and probably taken control of your first settlement. Congratulations. Yes. That's actually very impressive. I am now also going to do something very similar. Um, do, 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 do. So, when I get new troops, are they just stationed in the city? How does that... Uh, so you click on your dude, right? Your mm. army, and you can hit recruit down at the bottom, and oh, you can I then see. add units. <gasps> now the way Nurgle works is interesting because basically you're a living plague. So all of your buildings go in a cycle of life and death. So they get better, and then they start back up from the start. So you're basically going to go around in a circle, and after a few turns, you'll be able to recruit your best units, and then you're going to have to wait a bit. Um, but yeah. It's uh, it's not an easy first faction to play, okay? But it's going to be okay. You'll do fine. Already you're in the lead, okay? You've got two cities. I've only got one. You're doing better. Superior. <laughs> this is so... Okay. <sighs> I am... Also, I can no longer read my chat because I'm playing in a different resolution. Uh, if anything urgent is on screen that I'm unaware of, I'm afraid you actually now have to pay money for me to see uh, the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a win-win. <laughs> like, you're a professional streamer, okay? And... Professional, good one. <laughs> <laughs> You've been known to be professional. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I keep telling myself that too. Yeah, deep, <laughs> deep down we we know how professional we are. I do actually have um, something interesting to say. Of course, uh, we went mm. and made chocolate yesterday. I told <gasps> you about that. Yes, it was amazing. Um, it was pretty much a one-on-one -on -one experience. Uh, this chocolate making thing. There was only one other couple there. It was like this lovely elderly. I, I say elderly, probably like um, the wife was in her mid to late probably mid 60s and the mm. husband was like probably early 70s and uh it was very much like the wife had done her thing in the day out and now this was the husband's thing in the Aww. day out to london uh because he was like i love chocolate and she's like i don't <laughs> like chocolate um and it's like you're literally making chocolate why did you come to a chocolate making thing if you hate making chocolate and then she said earlier today we uh we went and did a a perfume uh making experience and uh i actually made an almond scented perfume i'm like okay right that's why your husband's allowed to be here today um oh, bless him yeah oh god right oh. okay I've got an auto resolve here. Yeah, I know that's what it looks like. Um, interestingly, like if I choose to fight the battle because we're at war, you're able to take control of the other faction, which makes multiplayer more entertaining, in my opinion. Oh no, <laughs> that's okay. interesting. Though. That is interesting. All right, so that's my settlement nabbed. Um, do 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 do. You know, there's a, a a cocktail making class in London that we all need to go to at some point, but it's all like Harry Ooh. Potter themed. Harry Potter themed cocktail making? What? What? <laughs> it's called. I think it's called the Cauldron. Okay. And yeah, you just. I mean, that's interesting. You've got. You get got little me. wands and robes. Ooh. All right, I'm bringing out some uh, flying balloons. Um, and then just some more horrifically overpowered jade warriors. Um, there we go. <laughs> do, do, 
do to do, do. Oh yeah, make sure to assign your research if you're not already doing some mm -hmm. researching. It's very important. Right. Good, good, good. You call, I think. You're doing fine, don't worry. Now, is it just every turn new things? New things? What do you mean by new um, things? New troops are made. No, you have to you have to recruit the units each turn. Um, you can recruit a new lord as well in your settlement if you click on mm. the settlement and then press four. Um, I have done that. And then you can then recruit units for them. Okay. So that's what I've done. I've also recruited a new lord, um, and I'm going to give him some chaff, um, some garbage peasants, and some other rubbish. There we go. Perfect. All right. I want this. Oh, you're going for a fight. Good stuff. Sadly, I can't see the fight because I uh, you chose to fight whilst I was in a skill upgrade menu. Um, <laughs> uh, if you can't win the auto resolve, you can. Which I can, but okay. it's high casualties. Oh, well. Do you want to fight it? Um, I'm. I'm gonna. I mean, do you think you can beat settlement. the auto resolve? It should be fine. I'm just I'm just gonna surround them. Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh my goodness, you have Wow. Okay, uh just be warned, near to you is Scarbrand. Scarbrand is a giant demon monster that can move halfway across the map very quickly. Oh um, they're very he's he's good. He's a fun fun guy. Um Alright. God, this map is way bigger than I expected it to be. Wow. So I can't if I have another lord and they're just they just chill in the city and I Uh you can have them chill in the city and what they'll do is um they'll just basically add to the defense of the city. Oh um, okay. Yeah. I'm noticing are you referring to Reap Bile? Because that dude isn't a uh, <laughs> That dude isn't a lord. He's a hero. So I'm sorry oh, for Georgie. It's... So a hero is like a spellcasty dude. Um, or like a melee fighty dude. Hey, Georgie, come on. It's naughty. You weren't meant to break into my office. Illegal corgi. There we go. Oh, you managed to win. Good job. This is mine now. It's so I can get a new lord. Oh my god, you're up to three regions already? What the heck? What the heck, <laughs> Kiwo? You're not meant to actually be good at the game, okay? I brought you in as the ringer so you'd suck. Wait, hey, what? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> right. You need to be faster. I need to more readily take settlements with speed. Um, what can you do? Increase mobility. That's exactly what I need. Oh, yes. You are perfect. Recruit hero. There we go. Now I've got a hero. I've also got a hero, and their entire job is to increase the movement capabilities of my main army. Um, I and see. They're going to do okay. great. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, these are some really cool abilities on these heroes. I like this. Very much like this. Alright, cool. We're doing good. Everything is being improved in my empire. Um, I don't know how your empire is doing. Probably not as cool as mine. I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm feeling quite happy and cool with mine. I think everyone's just very, very sick. That is usually how it works for you, yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
I've still only got two settlements though um, and it's going to take me in another turn to even get to the next settlement uh, <laughs> oh god I should have should have moved more aggressively I can't believe you <laughs> oh god I can't believe you're actually pulling ahead right, I'm going to nip to the loo as well so you've got my stream mm -hmm. for the next five seconds okay. whilst I'm not there for the next five seconds yeah. All right. Um, sing them songs I, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to sing songs. <laughs> Don't forget, if you want Spiff to notice you in chat, you can pay. <laughs> but if you got Twitch Prime, come over and say hello. Oh, that was... Uh, oh, that felt... That felt dirty. That felt very dirty. I can't see his chat either. I can barely read mine as it is. <laughs> I'm doing well, I think. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I've got I've got two more points. I have two more points, so clearly I am the strong victor. What the heck are you on about? I ha I yeah, I I have six points, right? You have six points, yeah. I'm the clear victor so far. Okay, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, <laughs> you have to end your turn, okay? If you don't end oh. your turn, I can't make a comeback. Um, <laughs> oh. Why is it not like me? Let just, me resolve. Enter. It and it, it's in the bottom right? Yeah. Have you had a pop-up come up on screen? I did, but it's it's not there anymore. Oh no, that's a bug. Um, that's quite a common bug. Um, okay. If you press escape and save, um, or actually maybe in the bottom, there we go. Um, and then saving. Can you press numpad enter? Yeah, it's it's just selecting my oh, because I can move. Uh, it might be because you can move. Oh right, yes. Um, so if you can still move, you can do Shift Enter to force end your turn, or you can press a button to skip the notification. Um, on oh, the right. there, you, there go. you go. Thank God. Okay. So oh, the, in oh, the no. oh no, oh in no, the no, no, no. is Scarbrand coming over to say <laughs> oh, hi? No, 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 no. Sounds like Scarbrand's coming over to say hello to you. Um, uh, but yeah, in the pre-release version of this, of this game, uh, there was a bug whereby an event would pop up and then it would disappear, so you couldn't resolve the event. And because you couldn't resolve the event, you couldn't end your turn. So I was terrified that that was the issue, but luckily it was not. Um, oh my god, Scarbrand is bloody terrifying. Look at him. Um, I... Okay. Okay, this is fine. Don't worry, this is going to be fine. Right. What? Do, 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 do. I'm going to put you in that city. Oh no. Oh I'm going to take no. another city now. There you go, I'm making a, making a comeback. Auto resolve. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. So... Oh, there's no way I can defeat him, is there? What, Scarbrand? Mm -hmm. You'll know how to defeat Scarbrand? Mm -hmm. Get your second army, stand it on one side of Scarbrand. Get your main army, stand it on the other. Whap him. Just give him a big old whap. I realise whap can translate very poorly. <laughs> um, I I'm kind of meant whack. Uh, let's say whack instead. Do not whap Scarbrand. Um, oh, no. Oh no no no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, this is Your services are required. Okay. Um so about that second army, my main army my army, I So What's <laughs> wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> I don't really have a second army. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You can recruit one over a period of time. Oh, I can. Not here though. Okay, never mind. Um, bugger. Yep. Yeah, don't worry. 
All is good. Ooh. Oh my god. I guess I will take that. This legendary lord is so good. Okay, so what I've done is I've turned my garbage jade warriors into like units that are almost better than their tier 2 counterpart. In fact, I'd argue they probably are. Oh, yes. On paper they are, at least. Great long... What the hell is that? Okay, right. I'm... I'm actually able to end my turn, surprisingly. Um, but I have clawed back so that I'm on par and I'm only an entire turn of points generation behind mm. you. Um... I might actually need to march on over and kill one of your cities. I'm sorry. Get, why? No, why would you do that? Get someone else's city. Yeah, but you know you're kind of ahead of me, and you're the so? only person I'm competing against. <laughs> Please. I've got to murder okay. someone. Okay, someone has to die. I I can't seem to select my. Which dude? Um. Technology. Okay, yeah. I'm selecting them, hitting the tick, and it's just like, nah. Oh, uh, do you need some kind of resource to research them? Because I know sometimes you need plague stuff to research as Nurgle. No, it doesn't say I need anything, but I'll just, you know, I'll just, I'll just resolve it. If you just click the, if you just click the end of oh, the, the tree, it'll get there eventually. Yeah. Um, don't worry. Oh god. Oh this is bad. See, I've got I've got this demon guy hanging out. Oh wait. Oh, oh no. He What's up with the demon guy? Okay, he left he left my area. Good for you. Good stuff. Bought an ogre. It's all ogre now. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Ooh. Right, yoink. Okay. More this conquering is... for me. Um, I'm now a city ahead of you, okay? I see um, that. Yep. Yeah. I see that. I'm too scared to go to war. <laughs> Why? Oh no! You should be too scared to go to war. It's all fine. Don't worry. It'll all be okay. Do -do -do -do. Oh my god! Some of these abilities are crazy. Right. Oh, I've made. Okay. You know what? This is fine. I'm buffing all of my units to insane degrees. Um, they're really, really good now. I'm excited to eventually one day show you this army. Um, okay, this is fine. This is fine. It's all going to be okay. Oh no. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, oh no. What's wrong? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what's wrong. That doesn't make sense. What's wrong? I I, I just feel like I, I might have grown too quickly and now I'm spread quite thin. Uh, yeah, don't worry. that's really standard. Um, okay, perfect. You're going to be pretty much stuck that way for quite a while. Um, that's, that's good to know. Yeah. It's all fine. It's all gonna um, be okay. I'm gonna have to go to war with the demon. What Scarbrand? Yeah. Yeah, he's a big boy. Um, I was gonna kill him next turn, to be honest, because um, he gotta die. He's just too big for this world, and I don't like him. Well, I can come and assist. Well, that's nice. Do I want you to assist though? Do I? 
I, well, I, I'm just saying, I could. I like the experience that I'd get from killing Scarbrand. <laughs> oh no, he's coming to kill me! <laughs> no! So... <laughs> Piss off, Scarbrand! <laughs> no! Why do you think you can win this? Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it, Scarbrand. This, this dude, this dude has no chill. The offer is open. Hmm. Well, the issue is I don't, I don't think you can attack him whilst. Actually, you might be able to whilst he's besieging me. Yes, oh, can. and my army can't. Yeah, could you come and murder him? Yeah. Um, I'll, uh, s I'll so join the battle. And all right, help out. I'm, I'm declaring war. Okay. Let's see if I can bring my reinforcement army in. So I have no allies. This is fine. Don't worry. No one has allies in this game. There is only murder. Um, and murder is good. So he was over by you. Yes. He is uh, next to the city of monkeys. Uh, currently having a grand old rave trying to murder me. Um, oh, I see. Probably should have, probably should have let my army, you know, reinforce a bit. But next turn, I've got a reinforcing army coming in, and they're gonna give me a nice hand. Hopefully, hopefully, all will be okay. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, I don't know where he came from. Oh no! Have you got a surprise army that's just? Yes. Oh, oh, it's a little goblin. Oh, he's a rebel. Oh, he's a rebel army. So you, he, they're quite easy to kill. Um, well. <laughs> don't worry, you just punch him with a stick. They'll be dead. You've got this. Yeah, 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 definitely. Hopefully Scarbrand does not attack me. I swear to God. Oh, good Lord. This is fine. Everything is okay. I actually really like this game mode because this is turbo, basically, Warhammer. Normally... You cannot raise an entire army in one turn, uh, mm -hmm. unless you're like really late game. Oh, Scarbrand, just turn around. Oh no! Yeah, it's just, oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh. Oh, no. oh no! No no! Retreat! You can. You should be able to retreat. You. Oh. Run! Run! You run! Me. That's you okay. Won't. Don't worry. Let's just hope he doesn't pursue. Okay. Let's just hope he doesn't follow. <gasps> Yay! He didn't follow. <laughs> No, not that army! No! <laughs> Damn it! Oh my god, and I even marched it so it can't retreat. Oh god, right. <laughs> oh my god. How did his blood crushers get almost 800 kills between them? Oh. They're not that good. Oh my god. My oh army no. got minced. Absolutely minced. Um, into tiny little pieces. Um... Oh my god. I shouldn't have told you that retreat was an option. <laughs> what? <laughs> you should have stood there and taken the fight for me. Instead, no, instead I've lost an entire my backup army that I'd been building up. It's going to be a glorious backup army. Oh no. Oh, counter offer. Oh, you in a trade deal? Yes. Look at you. Look at you having access to trade deals because you're such a nice person. We don't have trade deals in um, my kingdom. We just have suffering. Okay, maybe not military access, but would you... Um, what is it? I'm I'm trying. You're trying. But they 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 really don't want to. Yeah, it'll tell you at the bottom in diplomacy whether the AI will accept it ahead mm. of time, um, and it can be difficult getting the AI to accept certain things. Other things, they're very happy to trade. Um, I would love to threaten them. You don't want to threaten the AI. Because uh, okay. it pretty much never works unless you are massively, overwhelmingly mir militarily better than they are. Um, okay. Yeah. I am open to a 
<laughs> okay, well, they're not going to attack me, so I got that. Cool. I'm getting some trade deals. Um, and I lost. That's that's the game telling me that my dude died. Great. All right, I'm going to try and murder um, Scarbrand because he murdered, like, pretty much my entire army. So, um... Decisive victory, baby. Let's go. Ooh. Take that, Scarbrand. Bastard. Uh, I will gain... Ooh, I will gain free grand from you. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Right. Oh, and I have to build an army back up again. Oh, that's so expensive. I know, a lot of these units are going to be horrifically oh. expensive. Um, like, really, really expensive. Right, okay. I've got an army coming back together again. It's looking better. Uh, the reinforcement army, not likely to come back for a few turns. Okay. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Recruit an entire army out of thin air again. Yeah, that's where I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah. I, I got no money. Same. Well, no, I've got money because basically the best way to get money is to just kill people, okay? Because you get loot from murdering people in battle. So that is literally just what I'm doing oh. is killing them. Um, I'm going to probably see if I can beeline towards the end of the tech tree. Uh, this would be a good idea. Yeah, this will do. That'll do. Oh, it's not letting me force and turn. turn. Have you got any pop-ups at all? No. Did you have any pop-ups? I did. I thought did I resolved them, but now it's just like, you need to move this character. Okay, then just, just move the character. Um, and then after that, it should be okay. There you go. Job done. All right. I'll end my turn. Oh, oh I'm going to pull into the lead now. Actually, we're going to be tied. Um, I think. Yeah, we're going to be yeah. completely tied here. Okay, good. Oh, no, next turn. Next turn I pull ahead. Lovely, lovely. I'm noting you're heading straight back up to kill Scarbrand before it's time to bring up another army, so you're just going <laughs> to murder him. That actually makes perfect sense. Uh, who would want that bloody ragey dude on uh, as their neighbor? Not fun to have. Oh, I don't think I can kill him. Hats. Okay. Don't worry, you got it in the bag. Right, I'm going to go murder some Skaven. I don't have any troops just wandering around. Ah, uh, you... Oh, what do you mean you don't have any troops wandering around? Like, uh, just... Stragglers. What do you mean, stragglers? As in, like, another... On. Oh... What, like just random armies wandering around? Mm -hmm. Well, you got to kind of like, you got to play a bit aggressive. You've got to go into other people's territories, you know? You can't expect the enemy just to like march an army into your lands. That, True. that might be dangerous. Who'd do I that? Can't, I can't afford to assassinate. Okay. This is fine. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Oh, you're fighting the rebels. Okay. No, I'm not. I should not. I don't know why. You'd... That army is like, it's quite big, 14. Um, and your army was four. Um... <laughs> it's okay. I'm really struggling with troops. <laughs> oh, God. That's really funny. He's oh. raiding me for 111 per turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, and whilst he's raiding you, what he does is he lowers the income you get from your buildings by 100%. So, yeah. whilst he lives, he's, you know, he's like inciting the Amazon workers in your plague plant to just not work hard. Yeah, no one wants that. Right, I should be able to also end my turn soon. Do, 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 do. Ooh, a grand cannon. That might be fun. Ooh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I can make a tea parlor. Wait. Oh, yes, tea parlor. Yes. Oh, what a lovely building. Why haven't I been building tea parlors everywhere? Why, why haven't I played this faction war? This is amazing. I can make tea. Wow. Oh, oh this is. It's going this great. So Don't bad. worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, so, what you're going to want to do is you're going to probably want to march Kurgar the Plague Father straight into Shilong mm. next turn, burn the city to a ground, turn around and murder your rebels. Yeah. Because um, you can knock out Scarbrand this turn, which is probably the correct thing to do because otherwise he's going to be a fawn in your side. Um, and then. The money you'll also get from probably murdering that city is going to be enough for you to add more troops to your army and then go and kill the rebel stack with one of your backup armies, I imagine. That's oh, I just, so. that's my guess. Anyway, feel free to end your turn. Oh, have I end? No. So there's a little arrow to the right of the end turn button which says skip current notification. If you just skip the current notification to the end, you should be able to press end turn. Yeah, no, it's it's. Yeah, you go that one. Oh. Just just mash enter a couple of times, yep. and something will happen. Like I can hear you whacking that <laughs> enter key. Oh god! All right, hopefully Scarbrand just hasn't summoned an entire army out of thin air. But then again, never know. We can, we can only hope. We can only hope. Great, one way settlement has received the plague, probably because of oh. you. Oh. God, I can't. Can't you? Mm -mm. It's a settlement, right? Scarbrand isn't yep. even able to reinforce. Yeah, no, it's it's a it's defeat. What's the? Hasn't even got that many units. Yeah, apparently it's straight up defeat. I suppose actually, its units are it has got higher level units. Okay, Scarbrand's going north anyway, so just go south and kill your rebels. Um, in the bottom left. Uh, you should be able to change the stance of Kuglaf and you should be able to put him in march and that means you're going to be able to um, to basically go fast uh, in, uh, like you go I further was... but you can't initiate attack we shall prevail. I'm going to kill a dude Oh, this is bad. It's okay. It's all going great. Oh, I'm going to go oh, kill Inkari. Flaming attacks? Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm actually doing quite good. Um, I'm yeah. sure you're also doing great. Oh, I'm getting um, a great time. 
I'm getting... 394 per turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Getting my lovely tea parlours online, okay? We're going to start sitting down, having nice little cups of tea, having a fun relax. Um, everything's going great, okay? It's all fine. <laughs> oh, God. I have noticed that because you've been moving around in Scarbrand's territory, you've turned all of the water in the river to just, like, <gasps> really... Oh, you're getting attacked. Is it Scarbrand? I can't retreat while in March stands! You Why? Wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to retreat what? anyway, because the dude can move fast. The dude moves real fast. <laughs> Scarbrand has like you an extra seven... Me. <laughs> <laughs> you killed me! <laughs> uh, you can recruit your dude again next turn. It's okay if he dies. It's a temporary setback. Oh, God. Scarbrand will probably come over and kill your rebels for you anyway. It's okay. You uh, can win. I can't win this. We're all resolving you, battles. You, you probably would. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, if you want to, you can fight the battle if you want. Okay, if you if you want to fight it, you can fight it. And I, because, you know, my FPS is fine now. I'm playing at 1080p. You fight it. Okay. But can you continue playing? No, no, I, I joined the battle. You can either give me units or I can control the enemy units. Okay, yes, I will. I, I, I would. Fight <laughs> how the do battle. I, how fight, do I give fight, you fight, units? Fight, fight, fight. You have to. So there we go. Um, so I can join your team um, or I can take control of the enemy army. And what I'll do, because <laughs> I'm nice, I will join your team. Um <laughs> Right, and then in the battle, you can basically like group units, and you'll have a button to like give to give to ally, or whatever. Okay, yeah, that's. It's gonna not be fine. You've got a whole bunch of slug dudes. Don't worry, slug dudes are great. Also, because of the way the AI currently works in this iteration of the game, usually they don't attack until their reinforcement army has arrived, which basically means we're just gonna bum rush Scarbrand and kill him before the reinforcements arrive. Um, okay. It's going to be great. Um, so, oh, this is an interesting map because on this map, quite a few of the siege engines instantly explode when they move onto the floor. Um, anyway, uh, you can give me some of your units. I think you can give me pretty much everything excluding your legendary How do lord. I give those to you, though. So you like click on the units, and there should mm -hmm. be a gift unit button. Uh, in the bottom left, I think it is. Really small and hidden away, just beneath the portrait. Wow, there okay. Cool, right, I'll group these boys up. Let's create a little, little army out of them. Okay. Wow, thank you very much for all of these. Okay, nice. Right, I'm, I'm actually ready to go. I think we got a decent chance here. Our okay. aim is to kill Scarbrand. He's a big old evil boy. We're going to target him with all of our spells, all of our units. We're going to kill Sounds him. Good. And then his army, we're going to try and rout it. Okay? Okay. Okay, right. I'm ready to go. Cool. Right, let's move up all of the units as fast as we can. Um, right, there's the dude. His reinforcements don't arrive for another two minutes, so we pretty much have two minutes to kill Scarbrand and wipe out his army. And because of the way the AI works, of course, he ain't gonna react. Um, and he also doesn't have any ranged units, and he can't deal with flyers. So, um... Send the flyers out to Scarbrand. Yeah, I've got a ranged unit of flyers you've given me, and uh, so I'm just gonna hit him with them. Um, because he can't fly, the nerd. Oh, this should actually be great, because they've got poison attacks as well, which is going to nerf Scarbrand. Good. Oh, they're so slow. They're I'm so not, slow. Two minutes. Don't worry. Two minutes. We've got two minutes. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get there. Okay, cool. He's moving his army. This is a surprise. A surprise to be sure. Uh, don't send your flyers in just yet, because they ha They are um, they're, they're melee units. Wait for my ranged flyers to start weakening Scarbrand up with their attacks. There you go, right, come on. There you go, start spitting on him. Spit on him, good. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> there you go. Goop him up. 
Oh. Oh, they spawned a unit in behind us, but we can pretty much ignore it because it's going to start dying over time. Um, it's going to be fine. Don't worry. Oh, wow. Okay, right. We are sending the flyers in. Right, send in the units. Make sure to charge the enemy. We get charge charge bonuses for hitting stuff at speed. Um, oh, they're so slow. I know. We're slug monsters, okay? We don't move True. quick. We really don't move quick. Okay, we are slightly nerfing Scarbrand a bit. Uh, our Lord is a play uh, a spellcaster, so you might want to use him to cast some spells um, on the enemy. Because uh, currently you're basically just using him as a siege cannon, which, you know, is good, but he's a little bit more than just a siege cannon. Oh, oh my good lord. God, he's nerfing us into oblivion. God damn it, Scarbrand, why are your abilities so powerful? In you go. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, Don't this worry. is. Don't worry, it's gonna go fine. It's gonna go okay. We're gonna do great. Scarbrand is, uh, you know, we've gotten rid of about one fifth of his health points. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. He's so stupidly powerful. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, at least our range units. Well. My flyers are doing great stuff, okay? You can't see them, but they're having a grand old time. Oh, dear. He's so slow! Oh, no. Come on, move, you flyers. Get out of combat. Oh, my God, Skullbrand, please can you die? You bastard. Oh no. Are you okay? I'm not seeing yep. our lords being attacked, so I'm going to send over some flyers. Mm -hmm. Bearing in mind our flyers are still slow as heck because, um, of course, they are. Oh my god, why are the flyers going down into the floor for melee combat? Stop it. Stay <laughs> in the sky. Um, we are actually routing some of the enemy units, though, which is good because when their morale gets low. Um, they just disappear off this plane of mm. existence because they're demons, basically. Uh, the only issue is the same occurs for our unit. So when our morale is low, we also disappear off the plane of existence, uh, which isn't the best. Also, I'm noticing that you're, you just used your lord to shoot us in the back. Wait, th wait that hits us? That hits us, yep. And oh. um, now all of our uh. units are routing. <laughs> Well, oh no, you just did it again. I, um, I, I'm just <laughs> moving. I'm just. <laughs> oh my god. This is fine. Don't worry, it's doing fine. Have you cast any spells? Yeah, I'm trying, but. They... I'm noticing Apparently... we have we've 17 winds of magic available. But I. Come on, cast I'm, spells. I, I'm. I've been. There you go. That's a spell. Something happened. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Um, this could be a problem. Oh, good I'm lord. I guess this is a potential problem, I'm afraid. Uh, Scarbrand is going to now murder us. Um, uh, there is nothing we can do in this situation. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I'm afraid you've just lost your primary army. Yeah. It's yeah. okay, they'll come back. And. Just just remember, Scarbrand's not nice. Maybe try and make peace with him next turn. Yeah. Um, I'd recommend I don't, that. I don't think I've got anyone to make peace with him. No, no, you can just do diplomacy. Uh, you don't need any like characters. It's fine. You don't need an army to do diplomacy. Everyone knows that. Wait, where's um, he going? He's, he's, he's looking at the scenery. Look at that. There's a great vista over there. Um, and he's allowing you to just shoot him in the back. For some reason. Oh. 
uh, this can continue for a little while, I guess, because his units aren't murdering you very quickly. No! <laughs> no, and you also can't, for some reason, rout, which I'm surprised by, because you should be able to die at the moment. I should be able to. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you are taking damage from yourself, but not as much as I'd expect. Ah, it's fine, don't worry. You're, you're still going to be able to weaken Scarbrand a bit. Just a little bit. He's, this it, is sad. This is uh, sad. It's just a poor poor person in a mobility scooter being attacked by a bunch of angry people. Like, they just want... Nurgle wanted to shop at Tesco, okay? And then a plague happened. What? Oh, dear. What is happening? Oh, dear. <laughs> it's okay. You just you're, you're just lobbing disgusting diseases at people. Oh dear. Um. I mean, we got quite a few kills. You know, that was good. Yeah. That was very good. Yeah. And um, I lost everything. You you did. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um. But that you know. That happened. It, Let's just hope he yeah. doesn't move on and try and raise a settlement immediately. Um, so what was that you just said? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Oh wait, no, actually, yeah. fight this. Fight it. Fight fight a settlement fight. battle. Yeah, yeah, seriously, We're fight fighting. the settlement. Fight the settlement um. battle. Settlement battles are OP. Okay. Okay. Right. Here's how settlement battles work. Um, I know it says decisive defeat. It's not going to be that way. Okay. okay. Um, I will. I will join your team. It's going to be great, because here's what we're going to do. We're going to build mm. towers, and we're going to sit on the objectives, and it is going to confuse the AI, and hopefully, they're just going to leave us alone. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is great. Because towers in this game are really powerful, which actually makes defending settlements like this probably easier than fighting with a normal army. Okay, it's all oh gonna be God. great. Don't worry. Right. Cool. So I'm gonna give you half my troops. Um. Sure. Sure. Oh, Scarbrand's over there. Cool. Good. Okay. Now, more importantly than actually, um the battle mm -hmm. um, are towers, okay? So we're going to want to fight Scarbrand, but we don't want to fight them using units. We're going to move our entire army over to the um, the side of the battlefield which Scarbrand isn't on, okay? Uh, the Is side it? where I've pretty much moved my entire army. Um, uh. And then what we're going to do, on the side that Scarbrand is on, you should be able to build a tower, okay? There should be a few like locations near to him where you can build a tower. So the supply locations, barricades. Uh, oh, actually, I think oh, we can't. Oh, magic towers. There we go. It's yeah. the A tower spot. Perfect. And uh, there should be one kind of like over on that side of the battlefield. And you want to build uh, build a tower or two. Oh, um, I think I can only build one. Magic or... oh. Just two uh, magic towers. Yeah, they're both. I'm pretty sure they're just the same. So yeah, just build a tower. Um, they usually have fantastic range. Yep, that's glorious. Okay, that's amazing. Um, what we're going to do with that tower? Okay, as soon as the battle starts, you're going to click on that tower, and then you're going to right click on Scarbrand, and Scarbrand is going to be dead before we actually have to deal with him, uh, because this single tower is more powerful than any of our armies. Okay. Next up. Just leave that one unit of Nurglings that you have on that point. Just leave them there. Their job is to just simply slow Scarbrand down as a, like a speed bump. And we're okay. going to kill his army. Right? You ready to go? So we just move the, uh, move the other units back? Move all the other units over to the other side where his units are and Scarbrand isn't located. Alright. Yep. Cool. Right, let's begin the battle. And uh, click on your tower and then right click Scarbrand and just have it go to town. Right, 
This is going to go great, don't worry. And as soon as you have enough points to build another tower, make another tower. And uh, our first few shots have hit Scarbrand. Okay, he's already going to start taking damage, which is exactly what we want. Lovely I stuff. I don't think I can build another tower on that side of the battlefield. Uh, well, that's fine. The next nearest place, if there's one in the center, build a tower in the center, because that will hit units eventually. I see barricades, and that's about it. Yeah, I can just... Oh. Aren't on the they? other side of the little bridge. Uh, so they just summoned a unit in front of us. Uh, you might want to kill that unit of blood letters before it can get onto the point. Uh-oh. Um. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, Don't worry. No. It's okay. Don't worry, oh, mind. No. I've got some frogs doing some fighting. Everything's going to be okay. I can slow them down. Just charge that unit on the other side of the battlefield that's just charged our men in the back. Um, and come on, tower. Do more damage. Do more damage. God damn it, Scarbrand, why do you have to move? Stay still, you bastard. No, he's going to destroy the tower. Beans. Okay. Uh, no, quickly click on the tower and disband mm -hmm. it. Disband the tower that we built over near okay. the start. Quickly. Very, very Done. quickly. Lovely. And then rebuild it elsewhere. Uh, because they're about to take that point, so we couldn't use it anyway. Lovely. You're building it in the center. Glorious. Glorious. Lovely. Um, oh, God. Don't worry. Everything's going great. Um, on the other side of the battlefield, of course. Not on this side. Uh, it would be useful if you could use some of the units you have. Um. <laughs> you can't Tash? Can, uh, yes? Use the units you have on this side of the battlefield, please. Please, oh. Tash. Oh, I see. The, I side, see. <laughs> the side where I've been fighting, okay, Tash? Please. Yep, yep, yep. Please. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> trying to save you okay we're trying to save my, you my tower is 40 seconds from being built good 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 all right lovely we're gonna let them uh, make a little bit of progress up the steps and i'm gonna charge them with some frogs and then hopefully scarbrand yep scarbrand's just gonna bug out and kind of stand in the center of the map and ignore the capture point um hopefully and if that works, then fantastic. We should just be able to shoot him with a tower without having to properly fight him. 20 seconds. Awesome. Uh, if there's another spot to build a tower over near where we're currently fighting, please do that now because their reinforcements just arrived. Okay. I can only build one of the small ones. That That's works. Fine. God damn it, Scarbrand's trying to cap the point. Oh, wait, no, he's going to walk through it. Lovely. Yes, cool. Right, um, and click on the tower that is mm -hmm. in the center, and then just right click on Scarbrand. God damn it, why is he standing on the point? Oh no. Don't worry. You hit him with a bit of plague. I'm now going to march. I'm just going to fucking charge him with everything. Oh, good. He's moving off the point. Lovely. He's taking the worst strategic decision he could make, <laughs> and he's leaving the capture point that was completely wide open. Now he's going back onto it. He's uh, he is he's really thinking about this, Scarbrand. Use all two. He's walking away from it again. Cool guys, don't even capture points. They don't need that to. works. This this is good for this us, right? Yeah, it's it, this. We're using really high oh. IQ strategies against the AI. Okay. There we go. All right, building another tower. There we go, Scarbrand. Yeah, lovely. Okay. There you go. He's going to walk off the point because he got hit by some shots. Now he's just going to walk back onto the point. And then there's another unit that's just going to walk around the side of the point, which makes perfect sense. Okay, they don't want to capture the center. They know they don't want to capture the center. Who'd want to capture the center? This is going great. Flying units can't capture points. Scarbrand isn't a flying unit. He has wings. They're for show, okay? <laughs> he doesn't know how to use them. He's entirely floor-based. At no point Look at that. we've seen him fly. Look at that. They're just walking <laughs> around the point. This is amazing. Scarbrand, keep this up, okay? We're going to get you down. We're going to get you down. We're going to lower that hit point. Hit point count. It's going to be great. Pretty sure this tower yeah. over here can also hit Scarbrand. Oh, my goodness. Yes. This is going to be fantastic. Can it hit him? 
Uh, oh. Probably. Almost all of the towers you're building are in perfect range of Scarbrand, who has now oh, gone my. back onto the point. Scarbrand, don't you dare cap it. Don't you dare cap it. Don't you dare cap it. Right, let me target him. That might re -trig trigger his AI a bit. Scarbrand, move. Scarbrand, oh. move. Scarbrand. Oh, no, 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 Naughty. no, 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 Naughty. no, 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 Oh, well, I think that's it, sadly. If he captures it, I think it is an instant win for them. No. No? No, it's not. It just simply <gasps> killed that one tower. That's fine. We've got more towers. We've got more towers being built. Yes, we do. Okay, so the two existing towers we have, get them to target Scarbrand. You've got a level one on the left and a level one on the right. Get, get both of them to target Scarbrand, right. okay? They should both be on him now. And he's just going to sit there and let us hit him, okay? Which is very oh, nice of him. Oh, okay. no. Oh, no. So, we lost our lord and saw our units are routing. Rip. Rip, 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 rip. I'm afraid that's it. Wait. All of our units routed. Beans. We got close, though. Like, um, this is pretty much the only way we can logically defeat Scarbrand is by just bugging out his AI and having him run back and forth um, on a settlement's <laughs> bridge whilst we hit him with towers, okay? Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is the way we fight battles now. It's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. We're doing a good I'm, job. That's not okay. We're doing great. It's all okay. Yeah. Um. Right, that was that was one fight. That was a unique fight. Mm. Uh, but it's okay. We'll be back at him. Just simply build up an army in non Chang. Scarbrand will have to take that next, and then if you have a larger defensive force, we can do that, but on a much larger scale. And what that means is it's basically an even easier fight. Well. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I have money now. Good. So I'm I'm gonna try and take out the uh, <laughs> the rebels. Fantastic. I think I built too quickly. I was too aggressive. That is quite possible. Yep. This is just sad. Don't worry, you're doing great. I will start marching an army up to actually assist um, because I think that's it's actually in my best interest as well. So um, I'll be looping an army on round. Do, 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 do. Uh, which way is fastest? Um, yeah, probably this way. Okay, I'm going to send a reinforcement army over to actually murder Scarbrand because I also want to not see him on the map because mm. he is not fair to fight against. I cannot currently summon. You can't summon what? An army? I can't I can't summon units right now. Why? It not this turn. Not this turn? What? Not not on um my like main settlement. Is it because your main settlement's being at Oh, it's because it's got an army in it already. Oh, because it's being I attacked. Oh, it's being yeah. attacked. Okay. Right. Okay. Just you need to recruit as many units to spike clap, okay? In non Chang. Give give him as many as you can. And then next turn you're gonna march spike clap to your capital and kill the army that's attacking it. It's gonna be fine. Everything will be okay. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. This is fine. This is fine. I am doing great. You're doing great. This is this is great. Just have a smile on your face. Hmm. Right. Can I defeat that? <gasps> oh, you fighting the rebels? You able to kill the rebels? Yes. Yes. Good. Murder <gasps> the rebels and. They can't. You'll finally have your army back, your ability to recruit, and your ability to make money. Cool. Oh, this is fine. You're doing great now. Look at that, you're doing great. 
That's fantastic. Right, now you just need to increase the dudes you have in spite clap. And then uh, Scarbrand should hopefully be weak by the time we fight him next. Um, Scarbrand is insane because he has some of the highest stats of any lord. In fact, I'm pretty sure he does have the highest stats. Um, in particular, he has the ability to get a weapon called a Chainsword, which is a Chainsword from 40k. And what that does is it kills everyone. Oh, lovely. Pretty much instantaneously. Uh, I've used it before to get the weapon strength of Scarbrand up from, like, a normal, which would be, like, 500, maybe 800 for a Legendary Lord, to about 3,600. Um, and that's when you reach the point where Scarbrand walks up to another Legendary Lord and just hits them once, and that Legendary Lord just evaporates into dust. Um, hopefully... Scarbrand doesn't do that today. Hopefully he's feeling nice for us. Oh, this is a nightmare. It's a pleasant nightmare. Gloriously pleasant nightmare. Alright, let's do this. Oh, you're going to win in like two turns. I am going to win in two turns, yeah. I know. <gasps> I know. I'm just that good. Oh, Scarbrand, please don't raise my other set. <laughs> it's going straight for it. It's fine. We'll fight him off. We'll do, just... we'll do this. We'll do it. We'll kill him, okay? Let's fight him. We've got it. As long as his army isn't bigger, it's going to be okay. God damn it. His army's so many troops. Oh, and he's healed up. Ooh. 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 Oh dear. Right. I'm going to take control of Scarbrand. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm going to have some fun. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is great. So, oh, man, this um, is going to be a massacre. Chat, <laughs> I'm going to present to you a unique strategy that I like to call leaving the army outside of the settlement and just going straight for the central objective of Scarbrand. Uh, this is a highly effective strategy, um, especially because I think at this point Scarbrand is like level 17. Um, so he should have a good old time in there. Oh my god, oh, right. Okay, let's see where you're. You're over there. Fastest way to the center would be this way. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay, I can't. So that's my central point. Okay, okay, that works. Right, let's go. <laughs> Are you ready to rumble? Ah, oh, glorious rumbling. I am almost ready. The rumbling is about to occur. I guess I'm ready. <laughs> Perfect. Got a reinforcing army that's going to arrive in like 40 millennia. Right, straight up the hill we go. Let's go, Scarbrand. Let's have a fun old time. Oh, you've built a tower. Very good. Very smart. Um... So fun level 2 one. Fun fact, every faction has their own tower. Um, Nurgle's is quite good, but Slaanesh's tower is horrifically overpowered and pretty much wipes every single unit in the game. Um, oh, I see you. Oh, good lord. Yes, I know. I've got these lovely hellhounds here. Um, they're going to do a good job, but what's actually more effective than them is to instead summon a unit directly onto the capture point um, which is something that I can do um, there we go there we go there's just a unit straight onto the capture point just to distract everyone a bit This, and then in comes Scarbrand um, now that everyone's nice and suitably distracted and then what he's going to do is he's just going to cause your army to rampage and then set them on fire. Um, and this is quite a unique strategy because Scarbrand's weapon strength isn't up to 1,000. 
So theoretically he can free hit your wizard commander, but sadly I can't use him because the dude's just rampaging out of control. So he's just having mm. a grand old time. Um, oh, this is great. Oh, you built this a barricade? <laughs> That's actually slowed down my army. What the hell? <laughs> What the hell? Jeez, Kiwa. No. What the... That's annoying. Please. That's really annoying. No idea this how much is... of a minor inconvenience that is. No I'm actually hoping you might be able to kill Scarbrand, because that would be very useful. Right, Scarbrand, go this way. Just punch them a bit. Alright, where's this oh, wizard over here? Come over here, wizard boy. This isn't even a wizard. They haven't got any spells. Right, the barricade is almost defeated. Alright, straight in we go. Oh. Alright, Scarbrand, I think, just murdered your wizard there. Yep. Um, now, this is bad because it affects the loyalty of your troops. Because um, they're sad now. It's yes. sad that their commander just got evaporated by a giant dude with wings. Who I'm also fly. sad. <laughs> you also, yeah, it is a bit of a sad turn of events. Um, sadly, no one saw coming. Um, do, 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 do. Right. Come on, Scarbrand. Oh. Do better than this. You're it's getting gone. injured. Scarbrand, you know, it is possible for Scarbrand to die here. You, you're going to lose, like, pretty much all your troops. But it is possible. Look at him. He's done almost 10,000 damage. Oh, wait, and now he's going into Rampage again. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. no, no, no. Do it, Scarbrand. Have a grand old time. All right, there we go. And in our, in our troops go. They're just going to have a fun old time. Scarbrand, I'm going to have you um, stand just over here to the side so that you're no, no longer no. no longer in range of the actual tower. I'm just going to have you stand here. Um, so now the tower, I think, can't hit him. No, it can. Ow. Fine, we're going to stand behind this building over here. Go, Scarbrand, go. Faster, you big melon. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yes, good. Perfect. There you go. Aha! Your tower does not function if it's if, it, if I stand behind this building. <laughs> I'm immune. This is just cruel. I'm immune behind this tiny little paper mache house, okay? Oh no, you've got... Oh no, the hounds. Here come the hounds. Here come the hounds. I don't know what half my blood letters are doing. They're just kind of standing there, getting beaten up by little green dudes, but... um. Oh dear. What a fight. Oh my goodness, that tower. <laughs> what a tower. They're great. These towers are so great. They're so powerful. And anyway, I do actually want Scarbrand to die, so I'm going to charge him into the center. Um, Wait, did my barricade just not... Oh no, I killed your barricade by having all of my units punch it. Um, no, it I built a barricade and... Oh, it's done in one... <laughs> oh, let me quickly, uh, quickly do a horn. There we go. Oh, no, 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 my troops. Oh, no, Scarbrand, no, no, Scarbrand, no. where are you going? Scarbrand? Oh, you built a trap. You you trapped Scarbrand. <laughs> oh, no. Do you know oh, what that does? It, does? it doesn't do anything other than slow him down a bit. <laughs> it slows him down and weakens him a bit. Oh, God. No. How dare you try and capture Scarbrand. With a tiny little paper mache trap. Oh dear. He did 11,000 damage, that nightmare monster. Well, so there's um, everything. There's everything. You've um, almost taken everything from me. <laughs> yep, I have. I'm terribly sorry about that. <laughs> I don't think you are. No, I'm not particularly, but it had to happen. Oh dear. Goddamn Scarbrand. The dude's a nightmare Jeez. monster. I, he, did he even raise it? He's he's raised okay. it to the ground instead of taking the settlement. And the reason is because uh, with his faction, 
he just has a random chance that he will then occupy that settlement at a later time for free. Um, this is just cruel. Right, I think next turn I win the game. Yeah. Unless somehow I lose free settlement simultaneously. And I don't think that's actually possible. <laughs> no, I think we are... We have total glorious victory today. Lovely. Well. Well indeed. Good game. <laughs> well indeed. GG's. The G's. So many G's. Can you... You can't move yet. Lovely. Right. Building upgrade. Bam. You get upgraded with a tea house. You get upgraded. You I'm get just upgraded. giving everyone tea. Yeah, I'm building tea houses everywhere, okay? Don't judge me. Don't judge me. They're necessary. Do, 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 do. And I'm sending caravans out. Everything's going fantastic. Still can't move my lord for some reason. Oh, because we're trying to recruit a unit that's going to take infinite turns to recruit. What? Okay, that's fine. We'll ignore that. Um... Okay, I'm going to try and run to your capital, because if I get another turn, I should be able to attack your capital next turn. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. My my army is over by um, my other settlement that's been raised. Oh, God. Oh, wow, yes, it is over there. Yeah, well, you can click on your raised settlement and just rebuild it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, that's going gonna, gonna to help. It will help. It's every little helps, okay, at B&Q. Is that B&Q slogan? No. Every little... That's Tesco? That Alex? is Tesco. No. Is it Tesco? Yeah, it's one of them. What? It's one of them. God. Asda? No, that's Asda Price. God, it's you Asda. can tell I shop at m and can't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> They have really nice cheese, okay? Oh, there you go! Look at that! Yeah. Look at that. What a glorious victory. Statistics. Um, that took 13 turns. Uh, um, I had... Battles. Great battles. I didn't fight any battles. Uh, oh, no, I did. I lost one. Wow. What a great fight. That was actually really quick. I did not expect that to be as quick as it actually was. I imagine if you're playing that with literally eight players you're just going to be fighting each other and it will probably yeah. take you half an hour because if you're playing with players probably not going to auto-resolve any of the fights at all. True. Um, that was good fun. That was cruel. It was cruel. But you know <laughs> what we should do? What? We should do a, do a set up a multiplayer lobby um, for a battle and I've got a fun idea. Got a very oh, fun idea. Oh no! I've got a really <laughs> fun idea. It's a terrible idea, but it's a fun idea. Okay. Yep. I I think I know where you're going with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not going to fight each other, though. Don't worry. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Let me host. Apparently, according to my chat, it's Tesco. Um, the oh, okay. uses in it's Tesco. Here you go. There is the code. Thank you for the code. Right, in we oh. go. Do, 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 do. Oh no. I like how when I join the game it hides the password, but when I create the game it doesn't. Okay, so here's my idea. Um, we're going to play as... Ooh, who should we play as? We we're gonna play as um, we're gonna play as corn, okay, both of us. Mm -hmm. Let's play as corn, and then for the opposing army, you're gonna want to set them all to Grand Cafe, and you're going to destroy their entire army, and you're just going to add in peasant long spearmen, okay, just the peasant spearmen. Okay. For both of them. Um, 
they're they're gonna need one lord to lead them. So like I don't know either Miao Ying or Zhao Ming, one of those two, uh, and then just a fleet of peasants. Um, and actually, before we do this, uh, probably go into map setup, and then click on siege battle. Siege battle. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see what fun maps we've got here. Do, 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 do. Oh, this one looks fun. Oh, Altdorf is quite fun. Um, what about Black Fortress of the Green Skin? That one might be good. I think one of these has a crazy big bridge, potentially. Nope, that one sucks. Next one. Oh, oh that's land battles. Sorry. It's okay. Um... Oh, Drakenhof. Maybe Drakenhof's fun. Drakenhof is pretty much Old Dorf with some minor variations. Nice. Um, oh, that looks good. Mm. Oh, that looks very fun. Do you want to try that one? I'm down. Cool. Right. Are we putting... So we can just do that. Um, default funds, normal difficulty... Settlement level, probably increase the settlement level to uh, level, like, three, I think. Okay. Um, large armies. Awesome. Yeah, large armies are what we're building. Um, and then go back to army setup. I need to add more. Oh, my God, you did put large armies on. Okay, right. You need to add more peasants to them, uh, but we're only going to use a small amount of our... Oh, I realise we're the attackers. Okay, you need to move us to the other side. Because they're oh. the defenders. Or maybe we attack them. Oh, no, that's fine. We're the defenders now. Wow, I didn't realise it was that easy to switch. That's amazing. Good. Now let me make sure they've got more peasants. Yep, more peasants for them. Yep. Just need a whole, whole bunch of peasants. That's as many as I can give them. That's as many peasants as they can get? Wow, okay. Uh, then they have peasant archers on the right. You can just give them a whole bunch of those. Um, then they also have uh, jade warriors on. Oh no, they're peasant horsemen in cavalry. Jesus Christ! So just give them all some peasant horses. Um, then they have iron hail gunners, which are like the second missile infantry. They're pretty much peasants with flamethrowers. Um, they are really bad. So, yep, yeah, just dump some of those in. Lovely. And then I'm going to say we're going to be limited to a lot less points. I'm going to say you're only allowed to spend at maximum 5,000 points, okay? Oh, okay. So, yeah. nice cheap hero. Nice cheap hero. <laughs> bargain oh, buck bargain oh. bucket scar brand. Um, I'm actually going to take Scarbrand though because I think we could use him. Um, do, 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 do. What can I bring to fight? Spawn of corn, maybe? Oh, God. Okay, right. My army is 3,000. How many points did I say? 5,000. Mm hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to raise it to about seven thousand. <laughs> let's go for let's go for ten thousand. There we go. Ten thousand seems like a an achievable quantity to fight off an entire goddamn peasant horde with. Um, oh dear, there's just no ranged units, but that's okay. Right. Okay, just a few more points. There we go. That's 10,000. Nice. Actually, I think it's a bit less. There we go. Cool. Right, I've got my army ready. It is literally Scarbrand and one, two, three, four, five, six dudes. Um, and hopefully it's going to be enough to hold out against a bajillion peasants. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, oh, dear. Okay. I can get. Uh, I've got about three thousand left to spend. Yeah. So I might go 
Oh god. You can go for a blood firster. Um, that's 2,400 points. Uh, the dude is giant. Um, he can fly. He causes terror. He's a demon. Uh, he's flaming attacks of death. And he is great at piercing armor. Uh, okay. we, we're not fighting anything with armor, but he's intimidating, uh, which peasants don't like. Um, so I'm sure it's going to be great. Right. I can spend about 1,200. So let's get some more blood letters. There's an exalted blood letters, which is exactly 1,200. Yeah, I've got one of those already. Pretty good. Right. So get more. I'll get them again. Sure, okay. get one more. Might as well. Okay. Um, that's it. I'm up okay. to 10. Thousand. Then go on to um, the uh, the peasant armies, and then along the top there's like siege weapons. Uh, give basically both sides uh, to uh, free siege towers. Actually, they're no, probably two. If we give them free, the pathfinding is going to break. Um, okay. So, yeah, so each two... side gets two siege towers, and then let's uh, let's try and defend this settlement. Okay, <laughs> I am ready. Okay, I think. is a small quantity of chaos versus literally close to about 30,000 peasants. Um, should be fine. Um, but actually, I think there's more than 30,000 peasants. I think we're actually pulling close to about 40,000 peasants here. Oh, God. So do you want to take one of the armies and I'll take the other peasant army? Sounds good. I think okay. one's going to be in the bottom left and one's in the top right. Which one would you like? I'll take bottom left. Okay, makes sense. I think it should be the easiest to defend as it's a bit of a tighter choke point. <laughs> um, oh god, what can I do? I think I'm going to go for a strategy of sending Scarbrand out of the walls and running around, running him around in circles to slow down the AI. Um, it's very nice of the game to just yeet our armies about randomly. It's very good. Mm. Um, do, 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 do. Right. Okay, so I'm in top. Oh, wait a minute. We're. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're scattered. Okay. We are just a little bit, yes. Yes, we are. So I guess just hold our position. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can redeploy entirely. Uh, I am noticing that they've pretty much got troops in a whole bunch of unique locations. Um, sadly, I only have two units that can stand up on the wall, which means I can only have two of these wall towers going at any one time. Okay. How but do luckily, I we can build more. Oh, I can put things up on the wall. Yeah, you should be able to put a few things up on the wall. All right, um, so they're going to be coming from the top. Okay. Okay. So I'll handle the right side of the map. You handle the left side of the map. Sounds and good. Everything will be completely fine. I just spent all 2,000 of my in-game money resources to build a singular tower. <laughs> that's okay. That's going to be great. That's oh, gonna good be lord. Fantastic. And that's going to solo this entire side of the map, hopefully. Um, that's good. Okay, so there's just gates. They'll go to the gates, gates, right? They'll go to the gates and they'll also try and go to the walls, which is uh, one of the problems, but it should be <gasps> fine. Don't worry. Oh, I'm building a massive okay. cannon. Good, good stuff. Build that cannon. Right, I'm actually ready. Um, I think. I'm. You now have 60 seconds to be ready. I am ready. Bam, bam, I bam. think. Okay, sure, let's go. <laughs> Here come the peasants. Yeah, Here come the, the peasants. Towers, do your work. Right. Can this tower hit the siege tower? No, it missed entirely. Great. Right, hit. Oh, yes, that was good. That was good. That's like four peasants murdered already with a tower. This is a little terrifying. Yeah, it is. This is like very terrifying um we're pretty much simulating like some kind of nightmarish zombie defense um scenario oh god oh no these units can't defend against ranged ah. oh towers down 
Almost. Oh, what one of their attacking yeah. towers? Yeah. Very good. One of the towers. Very good. One. Now there are other one on the other hand. I've uh, I'm not going to kill any of their towers. Um, I have not achieved anti-tower prowess abilities. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Game. 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 <laughs> what's wrong? Oh. What's oh. happening, Tash? Tash, what's happening? <laughs> Tash? Tash? Oh, oh god. <laughs> Hello? Hello, game? Oh, and the game's gone. Um, game. Were there too many um, peasants? <laughs> Maybe. There uh, might have been too. Oh, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Like, legit, my game is gone. Um, <laughs> Oh my god. That. <laughs> there were too many peasants. Did you play Diplomacy is not an option? I think I oh, sent. I... I might have sent you. A I haven't there. played it yet. We literally just recreated it. Um, oh. With just the endless peasant hordes. Oh my god. I can't believe that died so hard. That is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, do you want to do that, but instead it's me versus you and I'll control the peasants? Okay. Okay, right, load up the game. Let's do. Let's run again. Version 2. Oh. The map is pretty big. The map is big. I think one quantity of peasants versus mm. two peasant quantities might have gone a little bit too hard. Um, uh, because basically each peasant is 160 like individual units. Mm. And each person there was fielding 19 peasants. So it's 19 times 160. So it was 3,040 peasants, basically. Um, and I think I had probably about 50 units. Um, maybe 200. Uh, versus 3,000. Uh, right. There's a code. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, everything's ready. Everything's ready, is it? Oh, did it save all of the... Uh, like stuff. Mm. Damn. Cool. All right, I'll just hop in and take control of one of the AIs. Do, 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 do. All right, joining in. Okay. Oh, I. It's okay. I will switch sides uh, to the attackers. I will select Peasant Force 2000. Um, and I will delete this auto generated army because it is way too powerful. Right. Peasant, 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 peasant. Okay. And you, I guess. Yeah, I'll go for you. And then more peasants. And then more peasants. And then finally more peasants. And I will recruit one singular crappy balloon and that's oh, it gosh. right the peasant army is ready um it is glorious absolutely ready. glorious okay right ready oh up. wait i didn't what haven't you got I it's a random it. map it's oh, no, random it's the map. One we no it's the same one it's the same one right let's go let's go <laughs> uh, obs is only screen capturing the upper left part of the screen oh. Oh, okay. Right, let me quickly resize that. I forgot that. to turn my game capture back on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. My game capture is on, but I think the game's gone back to 4K. Um, oh. Thank you, Forgotten Law, for becoming a channel member just to say that the resolution is only capturing the top left. <laughs> quickly recap. Just quickly fit to screen. There we go. Lovely. Now, chat. This battle might be in 2 FPS. If it is, I'm sorry. Um, oh my god. Right. Is this functioning? It's, uh, it's not functioning. I need to go back and lower the, I need to go back to the, uh, <laughs> I have to concede defeat. I'm sorry. Um, you can stay in the lobby. I need to lower the resolution back to where it was. I don't know why the game decided to go back to 4K. Oh, dear. 
I love video games. I love video <laughs> games too. They're my job. I love them. They're the best. All right. 1920 by 1080 on low graphics settings. Why not? Let's do that. Oh, perfect. What a great idea. Multiplayer lobbies. Join with code. It's probably the exact same one. It is. Right. Password. There we go. It's probably going to have all the same settings saved. Probably the exact same army. No, it's a different army, but that's fine. I can switch it. Doop. And a doop. And a doop, 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 doop. I'm going to get killed by peasants, aren't I? Potentially. There's a lot of them. There's quite a large quantity of peasants. And now I know the resolution is wrong, chat. I know. I'm changing the resolution. It's... Look. There you go. It's fit. I know it's at the top left, chat. Shut up. Shut up. Bastards. You get used to it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not cut out to be a streamer. Okay? Peasants love high graphics. Peasants don't deserve high graphics. Peasants deserve to be rendered in low polygons, okay? <sighs> There's too many peasants for it, it to handle. Exactly. I'm sorry. I mean, look, what how a game should work is the most elite unit should be rendered in the highest detail and the lowest quality unit should be rendered in like garbage 8-bit graphics okay i want to see like amorphous blobs to represent peasants and then high detailed glistening 8k hunky bodies to represent the legendary lords right i am going to oh no i'm going to probably try and swarm you from the left over here. Yep, this seems like the most fun way to approach. Oh no. I can't find any spots for towers! Don't worry, there are a few. They, they're just a little bit tricky to locate. Barricades for days. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of barricade spots on this map. It's actually insane. Okay, uh, this is a huge map, and I'm going to choose to fight in just a tiny corner of the huge map. <laughs> but I did bring a balloon, which is pretty cool. Uh, can this balloon fight? I think it has a couple dudes with a gun, and it doesn't do hardly any damage. That's fine. What does this thing do? It increases the reload skill of Yang nearby units. Do I have any Yang units? Nope. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's okay. Actually, maybe I do. Maybe they are getting improved. I don't know. Who am I to tell? They're not. Oh, God. Oh, no. You've got ranged units, haven't you? I've got a lot of ranged units. They're not very good ranged units, okay? These missile strength of 15. To put that into comparison, your towers have a base missile strength of 500. Um, with also the ability to pen 200 armor. Okay, you think peasants can do that? Here's the peasant horde. God, they look beautiful. This is Jeremy. Because um, I'm on low graphics, they all have exactly the same face. Oh, brilliant. Oh, they look amazing. Right. Ten seconds until the battle starts. You best get oh. ready. Seven, six, five. I know the peasants wait for no one. Have fun. Oh, oh no, 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 it's no, okay. no. It's okay. You have such a serious advantage. Oh. It's fine. Right, charge the walls. Charge. Where are you? You're not at the walls. Wait. Are you oh! The, did you deploy I, I... the wrong side? Yes, the walls are open. Charge, my peasants. Charge. <laughs> no, 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 no. Scale the walls. Glorious peasant charge, yes. Did I say I, I was deploying on the left? The left. Oh, yes! I oh, would have said left, but I actually meant right. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, you can destroy your tower over there on the left side and uh, put it on the right side. See, I use oh, this genius tactical skill of just not saying the side I was deploying on mm -hmm. and hoping that you would have noticed that I was actually on the right-hand side, okay? Uh, I've lost oh. my tower. You've lost your tower? Where, oh dear. Where, where's my tower? 
What do you? Oh, it's uh, it's it should have a little red circle above it. I think. I can see it if it helps. Oh. My tower. You lost oh no! Don't worry, this is going great. Oh yeah, this is this is wonderful. Apparently, my horses are fighting the gatehouse, and they're in melee, and the battle is even, despite the fact that they are attacking an object that can't fight back. That is how weak peasant horsemen are. That when in combat with a stationary object that can't fight back, like a brick wall, they think it's a balanced fight. They are so stupid. I'll be there one day. You'll get there. It's okay. My um, first spearmen are arriving at the walls. Um, oh, no, you've got your first tower getting built here. Ah, run, 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 Ben. Captured. Lovely. Let's go capture the gatehouse quickly so we can let the army in. Ow. You're attacking me, you angry people. Oh my god, what's this? You've got a skull cannon charging us? Ooh. No! Don't fight me! They're just peasants! They're just trying to capture the gatehouse, okay? Leave them be. Leave them be. There we go, the gate's open. Yes, we made it through. Cavalry! Peasant cavalry, charge Scarbrand! Charge him! Go! I can imbue the peasant cavalry with glorious, magical improvements. Oh my goodness, they are. The oh. peasant cavalry are just blocking up the main gate. Yeah! They're just. <laughs> please, peasant cavalry, move in! Move into the city! Move! Alright. Floaty blimp. My army's too slow! Uh, how do you think I feel? My army can't even fit through the gate, it's fat. Right. Charge! Horses, charge! Charge, horses! Stop firing the skull cannon at me. <laughs> right. Let's buff all of these horsies. The horsies are now imbued with magical attacks. And... Ooh. You know what? I'm also going to turn into... A, my hero is going to turn into a dragon temporarily. What? There we go. Check out that. I'm a dragon now. Um, wait, that's not even Scarbrand. That's a regular Bloodthirster. What the heck? I was terrified of it. I thought that was Scarbrand. No, I don't have Scarbrand. I was like, it, 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 come on, it's big dude with wings. Like, what the heck? Can I use a magic spell to kill a tower? Let's see if I can do that. And actually, you know what? I'm going to... Yes, I can. Oh, my God. Stationary vortex spells also affect towers. Cool. This is unacceptable. It's completely fine. Right. Oh no. Look at the horses. Look at them. They got him stuck. He's he's losing in the melee. He's being surrounded by peasant horsemen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Peasants go. He does, oh, he does have spells. No, he doesn't. Stop think don't look at them. Don't look at I them. They're lying. The They're lying. The spells don't exist. Oh my god, look at this queue. Look at this queue. They're just like a queue of the British people. So <laughs> They're queuing so hard, some of them are clipped into the floor. Oh, no. Hey, come on, you're doing great. Right, I killed one of your towers. Come on. This is fine. Oh, finally! My troops are here! Ah, no, they're not. They're not here. Ignore them. What's this? You're trying to build another tower. A level four tower. Oh my god. Wait. I can hit the troops. I can hit the troops that you have with a vortex spell that, yes, will attack my own peasant men, but they're just peasants. Yes. Yes, peasants, sacrifice your lives for the glory of the empire. Do it. Do it, my friends. Yes. You have uh, a dragon. I do. Yeah, I can turn it back into a human. I'm turning it back into a human. Okay. 
She's a dragon, but she is still also made of paper. Um, right. Horses and peasants, come on, you're doing good. Oh, like <laughs> oh my god, your units are so slow. Most of them aren't even here. Uh, why are you fighting me here? Why aren't you just like retreating and fighting me in an area where you have an advantage? <laughs> I didn't think about it. I'm still new. <laughs> That's okay, I understand. All right, I think I have a strategy here. I'm going to cast a tactical heal on all of my horsies. Yes. Yay, the peasants are healing back. One caller guy, thank you very much for 4.20.69 uh, Australian <laughs> yes. dollars. Um, oh, my goodness. With the Brit fighting against demons from down under. Um, oh, God, he's a coffee drinker. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. And he no, asks no, no. a very important question. What demon would best represent a coffee drinker? Um, and the answer is quite simple. Like, have you seen these, like, spawn of corn you have, Kiwo? Mm -hmm. Like the hideous things with the horrifically long tongues and, like, the huge yeah. oozy blobs on them? That's an average coffee drinker. Um, I would know because I've seen, like, I've seen them before. They look exactly like that. I occasionally drink coffee. That's fine. We can't be friends anymore. Um, you're, you're killing my demon. <gasps> Yay! The peasants. demon died! Yay! Peasants are doing glorious things. <laughs> oh my goodness, these peasant archers have actually done damage. What the hell? There's a peasant archer unit here that's done 3,000 damage. I and mean, they're struggling to scale the walls, but, you know, they're giving a go. Chase them down. Doing it. This is, okay, level this is sad. Oh, don't worry, it's perfectly fine. Right, so you've got a level four tower here. Not sure how much damage it's going to do. And the best way to test it is to bring my balloon over. Where is your tower shooting? <laughs> Why is your level four tower shooting? Oh, it's shooting four peasant spearmen that are retreating that are across the map. Rather than hitting my actual army of dudes. I don't know why it's doing that. It doesn't want to hit my men. It wants to hit the the retreating peasant spearmen. The four dudes over there rather than this entire blob. This army's smart. It also just shot a tree right then. Um, I don't think it can shoot because there are trees in front of it. <laughs> no one tested. <laughs> no one tested the... Oh, the tower placement. Oh, no, it's shooting now. Oh, it hit my balloon. My balloon. Oh, no. Right, balloon, you go fight that tower. And I'm going to select all of the horsies. Just have them charge you. Okay, they're glorious horsies. Ow. This is my lovely balloon, okay? It's my beautiful balloon. How dare you try and shoot Jeremy. Oh, I, I also realize... Lord. I have actually lost a unit of peasants. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch my archers to melee mode. And I'm going to have them attack. In fact, I'm also going to switch all of my range units to melee mode. And I'm going to have them attack. All peasants are now melee peasants. And they're all charging. Okay. I'm sorry, Tash. You have... <laughs> you currently have 15,000 peasants. You've killed 500 of them. And they are now beelining towards you. Good this luck. Fine. Good luck. This okay. is fine. Here we go. The, ho the last charge of the horses to slow down your men. Oh my goodness. They're there to absorb the ammunition, okay? Ow, don't hit my commander with that stupidly powerful tower. Right. Commander, over here you go. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. The horses are breaking, but they're also just coming back. After a little while. 
the the peasant army are marching the final peasants are leaving the um the little ladders up into the city here we come here we go oh god <laughs> no <laughs> no I'm going to send one peasant unit to go capture this supply point over here to stop you from using it. Um, because you have a level 4 tower here, which is going to kill my lord if I'm not careful. Do, 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 do. Come on, horses. Come on, horses. Charge. Charge, horses. Charge. Right, we've got our first unit coming up. Oh my god, look at them go. Look at them go, peasants. You've got this. <laughs> this is not You've got fair. This. this is fair. Look at them. They're charging. They're charging the best they can. They're doing great. I'm going to hide my um, dragon over in the top left corner of the map so that it can't intervene in anything. Right, peasants go. Yes, peasants. Yes. Yes. In melee combat, even. No, no longer even. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, the poor peasants. Oh this no. This is ridiculous. They're co they, they still keep coming though. Like, they're not going to be strong. But they are going to be there. Okay. They're forming an orderly queue. Some of them are getting thrown quite far back. <laughs> by the skull cannon pulling donuts on them. Oh my god, can the skull cannon please not run over the peasants? It's rude. It's very rude. Oh dear. I should nab that. My cannon! Perfect charge. Both of my cannons! What do you mean your cannons? Your towers? Yeah, those ones. Yeah, well, you kept them in an area where I could capture them, so I captured them. So that you couldn't use them against me, okay? It's not my fault you didn't defend your... Tower capture point. I have limited troops, damn it. <laughs> Ow, you're killing my peasants. Okay, right. Um, we've lost... You have more. We've lost another 500 peasants. Uh, we just lost an, an additional 100 peasants. <laughs> oh my god, these towers. I don't think the high-level towers are actually good value for money because... Um, mm -hmm. It's like the high level towers have armor piercing damage. I don't mean to like shock you, but none of these guys have armor. Um, like, they don't, they hardly wear clothes. Yep. Yep. Think it might hurt a little. You know, this is hell. This is great. It's fine. I'm going to have to come over here and give them an immune to psychology buff so they stop routing. Come on. Let's bring the Lord over here. Come on, Lord. Alright, the units that have routed charge straight back in. Lovely. <laughs> oh my god, we're bleeding units so quickly. Oh god. Come on, Lord. You need to be faster about this. We've got to apply the buff. Why are you so slow? Oh my god, your units. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a skull cannon deal more than like 5,000 damage before. This, this one's killed 184 units, uh, which is downright insane. Right, come on in, come on in. Come on. Charge, come on, charge. Charge, come on. Charge back in. Good. Right, lovely. Let's just buff all of the men. There we go. Lovely. Let's turn back to human form. Right, the peasants are now unbreakable, hopefully. They will, um... Let's give them a quick healing spell. Get these peasants back up and fighting gloriously. And then... Oh, let's give them... Let's give them buffs. Yes. They have 60% physical resistance. Which oh, I'm geez. sure will defend them. Uh, and protect them and 100% just lead to absolutely nothing changing. We're down to just the last 600 peasants, Tash. Oh, no. Why not attack from both sides? I don't think you understand how peasant warfare works, chat, okay? 
<laughs> you do not attack from both sides. You charge head on in a straight line towards the opposition. Mm -hmm. And you wait for the opposition to go away. They only have 150 troops left. In the last minute, we've killed five of them. Okay? That's disgusting. We'll get there in no time. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. They, they just don't end. They don't end. No, they keep coming back. Because uh, they keep routing and then they keep turning around to try and keep fighting. Oh, God. The Skull Cannon's still doing donuts. 18,000 damage on that Skull Cannon. Um, this unit is done. This unit's got 254 kills. Dear God. And hey, at least my commander's done well. I don't think they get any special prizes for that, though. No. 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 Just the peasants. Peasants, stop retreating. Stop it. They'll come back. You know, they, they keep coming back. They have nowhere else to go. Yeah, well, this, these dudes keep coming back, but then, like, a huge fireball just flew towards them. What's... What's do? There's a floating old thing here. That's... Just found some scenery that defies gravity. Um, most of my army is retreating. Um, I'm going to buff the remaining bit of the army, and the remaining bit of the army being just my commander now. Um, oh no. Uh, let's quickly switch to dragon form. Quickly turn into a dragon woman. There we go. Lovely. Aha. There you go. Try and beat that. <laughs> you can. You're hitting it with a tower. That's really annoying. <laughs> oh god. I've got you down to 120 units though. Yeah. Like that's something. Um, 119, oh. and the dragon's dead, and everyone's... Okay. Well, I think peasants aren't actually that powerful. Uh, no. Surprising. Which is actually quite surprising. Surprising. And, like, whilst I probably could have won the battle if I didn't tell you to stop charging me where I had defensive high ground advantage, <laughs> and maybe if I didn't run at you with a whole bunch of peasant archers, uh, maybe there was a victory to be found there. But... The true victory is the fact that I got to witness a skull cannon somehow do 20,000 damage. Um, which I don't think I've ever... Oh my god. What a fight. What a fight. I think, I think it did more damage just doing donuts and knocking over your troops than actually shooting them. I wonder how many kills your towers got. Because your units killed... Um, let me quickly whip out a calculator here. It's my mind. Um... Calculator. 152 plus 127 plus 8 plus 26 plus 240 plus 127 plus 278 plus 227. That's 1,185. So your towers killed almost 600 peasants. Mm. That's pretty darn good. Yeah. Congrats, Kiwo. You did it. Thank you. Thank you. you. Yes. Yeah, I was um, a little overpowered. Were you? I could hardly tell. <laughs> well, I suppose that's me playing fair then. Do you want to switch the map to just a land battle? And, All right. Um, I'm going to now not play fair, okay? Okay. That, want, I'm fine with that. I want you to build an army, okay? Okay, are we doing large armies again, or just... Uh, normal armies, otherwise the game Sounds might get good. a bit, bit upset at us. Um, Which right. map? Uh, doesn't matter. Literally doesn't matter. Um, what I'm about to do... Oh, God. Oh. Um, right. That doesn't sound good. Don't worry, it's friendly. Very friendly. Do-do-do. I'm gonna go for this, uh, this dude. There we go. Perfect. Oh wow! Yeah, this is looking good. Ooh. So you're gonna play corn again. Very nice. That's fun. Well, I might not actually. You might not play corn. Okay. Mm. Okay, that's fun. 
Oh no, it's making you decide. Okay. Oh wow, I've got um, I've got a fun army on the way, a very entertaining army on the way. Do 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 do. do. Cool. Right. I'm happy with my army. Um, I don't know if you're going to be happy with my army. But it's going to be fun. I'm ready to go. Oh, you're playing Siege. Fun. That's fun. Ah, yes. I know nothing. I think that might be enough. Don't worry. It's fine. I can't see your army anymore because we're on opposing sides. So that's fun. Um, now... You know what I said about those unkillable ogre units? Mm hmm Well, you actually picked Siege, which was the correct thing to do. Um, if you picked pretty much anything else, this would have been instant wipe. Um, but, as you are Siege, there's a good chance you might actually stand up in a fight here, okay? Okay. Okay? Yes. Very good. Do, 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 I do, do. don't like that. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, I don't like that one bit. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, I am ready to ready. go. Get ready to see my army. It's just two big old dinosaurs and a wizard. Okay. Let's see if you can counter it. It's, um, it's going to be interesting. I think I have an advantage here. You've got some fun Chaos Knights. That's cool. That's cool. Do, 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 do. But, sadly... Oh my god, you've got fl flying stuff. Nice, nice. Do, 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 do. Sadly, um, there was a surprise ambush, of course, in case you couldn't see that coming. <laughs> um, in fact, this is surprise ambush number one. There's also surprise ambush number two, but that's not going to be for a little while yet. Um, ow, you're hitting me with... Angry spells. That's mean. Um, right, my slaughter horn appears to have just gone straight into the Forsaken of Zinch. Um, you know, I can actually cast a pretty fun spell here. I'm going to cast a big old fist into the ground. It's just a big old fist in the ground. <laughs> what is. Oh, dear. Oh, these units just don't die. It's great. Oh, oh, no. That's a counter. That's fire. Fire is not good. Luckily, the counter to fire is giant dinosaur. Um, now, be warned. When your, oh, nice. when your units on the floor die, your flyers have to land. So, you're going to have to I'm use the flyers. To know. Yeah, the flyers have to be used. I know, I know you have an army consisting of pretty much just flyers. But they have to fight eventually. Alright. Let's cast another big old fist. Ah, oh, look at you casting magic on me. Look at that. That's good. Very impressive. Alright. Big old fist. Oh, okay. Oh. Big old fist pump. Yay. Things are dying. Things are dying, I know. It's yep. glorious. Absolutely glorious. Damn, these Chaos Knights are fun. Um, I like the fact that they ride effectively tiny ponies that are half the height of them. Um, they look really cute. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Hello, Georgie. Georgie's come back into my office. Hello. Are you watching, are you watching Daddy murder people? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. 
That was a nice spell right there. That was fun. That was good. This is a nightmare. It is, yes. This is an absolute nightmare. These these units here shouldn't be alive. Um, there's only four of them left, and they are unbreakable. Um, <laughs> they are just fighting forever. <laughs> that is really dumb. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's just absolutely stupid how powerful some of these units are. Um, right, I'm going to chase that unit down. Actually, wait. You've got some pink horrors here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Big old diner boy. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's so cute. He's so cute. You can't kill the big old dinosaur. Why he's, can't I kill him? He's really big and friendly. There's also two of those big friendly dinosaurs. Oh, you know what I can cast, though? Cast the Maw. Um, I can also cast it right on my dudes. Here it is. Just a big old pit in the ground. Oh, oh no! Big old ground pit. No! <laughs> oh. It's great. What? That's the end of the battle. <laughs> no. <laughs> what am, what, it's what easy to win when you have a big old pit in the ground. Yeah. 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 Glorious total victory. Do 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 do. do. Ah, perfect. Well, so um, that was me not playing fair. How did you find that one? Well, I lasted a lot longer than I thought I would have. That yes, yeah, that was largely because I deployed half my army pretty much at the back of the map, so they didn't arrive in time to do anything. Um, but fun. <laughs> I'm learning so much about Warhammer. <laughs> I'm glad you. What did you learn from that battle? Indestructible dinosaurs. <laughs> Indestructible. Okay, there's going to be a faction added to this game eventually, uh, which is the Lizardmen faction. It's in Warhammer 2. Uh, they're pretty much their entire roster are crocodiles um, that are nice. people and dinosaurs. Um, they have pretty much exclusively dinosaurs, and they are great fun. But there we go. I never have much luck against dinosaurs, especially in magic, so I'm just <laughs> <laughs> not again. <laughs> oh dear, yeah. Dinosaurs be strong. They do be very strong. Anyway, um that is actually Time. the end of our legally mandated <laughs> streaming session. Um we've passed the free hour threshold where we someone did. at Creative Assembly now has to write a check and go well, I guess guess they did do everything correct. Um, Click on the link. There is a link to buy a link. the game. Just <laughs> looking at the link um, actually makes them happy. Um, yeah. If you want to try the game out, there's literally a whole bunch of ways you can do it. Um, of course, you can buy it on Steam, give it a try, and you have like two hours on Steam, and if you don't enjoy it, you can refund it. Uh, you can get it on Xbox Game Pass, where it's really cheap, and you get a whole bunch of other games. Um, you can buy it from Creative Assembly directly. You can literally do whatever you like. Um, am I sure that there are no exploits in the game? Um, no, there's loads of graphics in the game. Sorry, uh, graphics? There's loads of exploits in the game. There are graphics in the game. Um, the Chaos Realm maps are very sexy. Um, and... You know, you mentioned the two hours on Steam. Yep. I watched a Sekiro speedrunner see if he could <laughs> he play the game the before and then refund it. <laughs> That's such a great idea. The like refund speedrun where you just try and play the game as fast as you can and then refund it. That's that's amazing. That's so smart. What a great idea. Damn. People should do that more often. Start getting into speed running. Yeah. Just <laughs> speed run speed run games and then get your money back. The cheapest look, if you're if you're a content creator, buying games is expensive. Why not just mm. speed run them and then refund them on the spot? Five thousand IQ. It's a great idea, I'm sure. <laughs> And if you fail, it costs you 50 quid, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, failing the speed run is financial ruin. That's fun. There's an extra like layer there then. That's like added added risk. So added. are we we're we gonna have to go through Steam one day and find cheap games to try and speed run against each other. Oh bad rat. <laughs> bad rat speed run. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wonder if there are like honey pop speedrunners. Um, oh yeah, you can, oh. there's speedruns of everything. Imagine trying to speedrun an Assassin's Creed game where it's like, "Welcome to hour thirty-seven of the speedrun. Um, I've just finished nonsensical grind in the mid game, uh, number four hundred and seventy-two, and we're moving on to the next mission, uh, where I have to go to location, fight people." And then raise flag, and then go to next location, fight people, raise flag, and repeat oh, no. for seven hundred times. But um, which one? Because I'm looking on the. That's all of them. Top. That's all of the Assassin's Creeds. <laughs> the fastest time, okay, first fastest time for the first one is three hours. That's not. Uh, what about Assassin's Creed Valhalla? What's the speed run on that? <laughs> So, kid you not, that game might actually require a 60 hour speed run or at least 40 hour because it is slow. <laughs> it 10 is hours. 10 hours. Oof. Damn, imagine playing a game for 10 hours straight. Oh my god. Uh, do you want to do. Okay. Can you ready up with that, with yes. that army again and try again? Because okay. wh what I've done is I've got rid of all the missile units and I've just upgraded the dinosaurs. And I'm just going to Thunderbolt them, like, straight into the middle. Um, Wait, so you can that... upgrade the units? Yeah, units can gain experience. And when they have experience, they're increased slightly better, so their melee attack oh. goes up a little bit. It's not much, and it is pro. It is generally weaker than just getting another unit. But I think it makes sense for the Thunderbolt, like, the, the ball of units that just can't die. It makes sense. Um, right. Let's go. Straight into the middle. Men, charge! Glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Oh, no, 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 no. Perfect. Just gonna run into the middle. Charge on into the middle. It's gonna be super fun. Everyone's gonna. Oh, what's that? You're trying to injure my boys? Not if I pop a heal spell on them. Okay. Do, do, okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Right, you little dinosaur run that way, you little chomper men go that way and that way. Okay, and that is a unit of Chaos Knights, pretty much wiped out instantly. Um, this unit hasn't even moved. This unit is doing something. My commander isn't doing anything. This is balance right here. This is good. This is fair. This is very fair. Yeah, this um, is great. This is great. Oh, your magic has injured that unit. You know, you've got one unit down to really low health. Such a shame the actual units inside that unit aren't dying at all. Um, because they can't. Um, so they're just going to keep on going. This is doing great. Oh Wait, are they God. retreating? Uh, come what, back. Uh, what retreating? Yeah, you, some of your horses come. retreating. Yep. Please come back. Please, please. <laughs> please come back. Please. Okay, now I'm gonna just buff all of the units. Oops, that buff went off in really the wrong spot. Oh well. Um, the good news is the dinosaurs have so far taken. Um, you've done 20 damage to one of them. Oh, nice. And then the other one has taken 150 damage. Okay. Out of a total pool of just under 10,000. Um. Oh my god. Who put this in the game? Who put this in the game? This is... This is fantastic, is what this you want to unfair. say. This is unfair. No, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Look at you, trying to cast them spells. That's good, you cast them spells. Okay, my troops are retreating. This is fine. This is great. Absolutely great. Oh, there's still more. Oh, you got one of the uh, dinosaurs to route um, for a little bit. Do, 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 
to do. You need to actually go this way, my friends. You can go this way. Perfect. And... Ooh, what do I cast? What about... What about... I want to cast the big old mouth spell, but I haven't got any mana for the big old mouth spell. So I can't cast it. Until now. Big old mouth spell. Let's go. Big old mouth in the ground. It just wants to eat people. It's really friendly. It's a big old sarlacc. And for some reason the ogres think it's a benevolent god so they feed it food. Um, and that is actual canonical law, by the way. Um, the ogres, they just, they love eating food. And so they, they love to share it. And they share it with a big old nightmare monster that lives in the ground. Okay, there's another unit gone. Yeah, okay. it's okay. Like, I've really poorly micromanaged this, so I just want you to know you're doing a great job. No. Oh. Why are these little, just little chaos. pink horrors just running around being annoying, okay? It's annoying little pink horrors. Annoying um. units running around in circles. Ah. Where's that little commander of yours, the big old bird? There we go. Let's hit the big old bird in the face. Oh, no, 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 literally. Let's hit him oh, no. slow so he can't get away. No, you bastards. Get back on the ground. Bloody fly, floaty boy. Oh. Get back on the ground, you. No. Sit. No, no. Heal. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Where are you go? Oh, you're dead. Yeah. Yes. Yay! Big old fist into the ground. Fist of victory! Yay! Everyone's happy. What a fun battle, guys. Yeah. Alright, that's it. We done. We, um... <coughs> oh my goodness, I've noticed the FPS has been terrible at points. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what it is. It must be something in, like, the encoding settings of Streamlabs does not like Warhammer 3. Um, that's a shame. But hey... There's nothing I can do. How have your frames been, Tash? Um, they've been... Oh, I've dropped 5,000 in total. Let me see how many I've dropped. Um, do, 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 do. I have dropped... I'm unable to tell, but it appears to be... Apparently, there were points where I was losing 50% of frames, but currently, no frames dropped, which is very nice. Oh. Anyway, there we go. That's it. We've made our money. Um, <laughs> I'm joking um, I actually do like Total War Warhammer 3 I don't think it's going to be everyone's cup of tea um, which is why you should always play a game try it and then decide if you love it um, I have an, I like hopefully we play this again I personally like to play this with Dan when he he's yes. well um, and I'd like to play that turbo campaign um, in because it is really quick and I think it would be fun if we're playing it as a multiplayer because we can co-op and also just steal the enemy army and fight each other which I think would be fun I am down for that 100% and I'm going to probably watch a bunch of playthroughs perfect so. <laughs> I recommend learn. someone like Legend of Total War probably not the best person to learn from unless you like learning how to cheese the AI uh, best person to probably learn from just for general campaign lovely dude called Lionheart he's wonderful um, okay he's a cute guy he's a dad okay um, and he's just looks like a good egg to be honest that's my recommendation um, anyway I've got a video of this actually coming out tomorrow which just basically showcases endless exploits um, the original cut of the video was 50 minutes long um, oh, wow. And we had to cut it down to about 27, I think, is where it's currently at. Um, but there we go. That's it for today. Jesus. Have a lovely day. Um, and you too. Thank you very much for playing. Yeah. I'll see you later. Have yeah. a wonderful day. See you later. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. There you go, stream. Um, I'm going to have to head off. Um, 
I um, I'm gonna sadly have to run away and continue my evening and by continue my evening I of course mean drink cups of tea um, got my fiance looking over me Hello. we've got to record an episode of our podcast <laughs> it's gonna be great and anyway I will see you all later have a wonderful day bye 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 bye